told my girl to pipe down, need it right now. Lately I've been going to the lights out, got my face up and my eyes down. Shorty, now you know what this is like now. Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling. And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning. Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning. Shorty got a way, we been chilling by the ocean. Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling. And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning. Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning. Shorty got a way, we been chilling by the ocean. I told her my way. What can I say? Ooh, I got them looking at me sideways. I can't take no days off. They know I can't. Lately, I've been in a different mind state. And I got them tripping. I've been making hits. I don't got no time for misses. Shawty want to ring. Yeah, she trying to be a missus. I've been so ahead. I don't think y'all really get it. They've been taking L's. They can't see how I've been winning. And I got a drip. So they see me making waves. They don't even see how many chances I done get. Lately I've been going to the lights out Got my face up and my eyes down Shorty, now you know what this is like now Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a way, we been chilling by the ocean Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a way, we been chilling by the ocean Yeah, yeah I can tell I'm running stacks by I am a mathematician. Just so many plays up from my dealer, I get commission. Walking, I got my bitches on this bed, like exhibition. If a wife, I can make it in the first time. Quarter a million in the Hermes, Hermes show. In Dubai, got my base, got my turn the title. Moving in a motorcade, in the bourbon ride of solo. Yeah, solid chest stones, look like breath mints. Yeah, you rock victory, I need an EpiPen. That bitch fucking with a strip, she pescatarian. She wanna come fuck with a boss, she ain't ever mean. Yeah. Need it right now. Lately, I've been going to the lights out. Got my face up and my eyes down. Shorty, now you know what this is like now. Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling. And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning. Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning. Shorty got a way, we've been chilling by the ocean.
Performing in motion capture is completely different than working like in film or TV. You have only your imagination to rely on. You don't get makeup, you don't get costumes. So you really have to delve into your pure imagination to create the world that you want to create. But it's completely different than working in film and TV, but it's still acting. My name is Richard Dorton. I'm known as the mocap man. I usually tell people if you played a video game, you've probably killed me. I'm a motion capture actor and performer, producer and director. I started doing theater in DC. I did get a, a scholarship and I studied a little bit abroad at Balliol College in England. And then I also started studying stage combat. I was going down the route of being a stuntman. That's really what I wanted to do. I wanted to pursue my stunt career, so I decided I needed to go to California. My first audition, I'd just gotten a stunt agent I thought was gonna be at this famous motion capture place called House of Moves where they had just done stunts for Titanic. My first taste into to what I thought was gonna be a stunt world actually was for an audition for a video game. It was for Scooby-Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. <laughs> In the audition, you had to walk like Shaggy, act like a gorilla, be Frankenstein. You had to dance, you had to fall down, you had to run into a wall. I ended up booking the game and playing Shaggy and 60 other villains in the game. And that kind of just started my mocap career. Hey! I have here uh, some of the games that I've worked on, and there's some of my, you know, prized possessions. Like right here is Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2. And in the final sequence of that, you get to play Darth Vader. So I was one of the first people to ever motion capture Darth Vader in a video game. I played Wolverine and X-Men Legends, Silent Hill Homecoming. I got to play Pyramid Head and all the creatures in that. I also worked on the God of War series. But this has got to be one of my most prized possessions. This is from Left 4 Dead 2. I play all the boss zombies and all the hero characters in that. And I had all the artists sign this game after the game came out. So this is something I'm really, really proud of. Recently, one of the biggest projects I've been working on is Rogue Company with Hi-Rez Studios. I started out being an actor creating some of the characters like Dima. It's really funny to see him juggling grenades and then throwing them because I helped create that move. It's one of my favorite moments in the game. I also have expanded into the company and I now work on some of their character reveals. I help cast actors, I help create the, the emotes, the dance emotes, fidgets, idols, all the rogue reveals that you see. I get to work on that. So it's been an incredible journey going from a performer with them to also helping them direct and put the game together. We're here at Fonco Studios, home to a variety of other production companies, but also home here is the Noida Motion Capture Studio. We're gonna go inside, I'm gonna put on the Perception Neuron suit, and we're gonna give you a demo. Fonco is known for working with some incredible artists who work on top major uh, AAA title video games, major motion pictures, they're known for their miniatures, they're known for their special effects, and they're also known for their motion capture. We're here now at the Noidum motion capture stage. Now this is where all the magic happens. Here we go. I'm here in the performance space where James is gonna put me in the perception neuron motion capture suit. We're gonna take that motion capture data from Access Studio move it over to the Unreal Engine, where we're gonna create a scene of a rampaging monster versus a robot. Left hand. So these straps will hold the sensors around the body, and the sensors have gyroscopes, magnetometer, and accelerometer to track and capture his motion data. My name is Rock Nakajima. I'm the president of Noidum International. Motion capture until a few years ago was a very, very elitist technology costing like hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. Newer technology has come along with inertial suits. All of the technology is in the suit itself. With the Perception Neuron suit that I was wearing, the markers are now sensors. I can now shoot anywhere inside, outside, as long as I'm connected to the laptop. Now you don't need any cameras, and therefore now you have a completely portable system. You're not locked into a location, you could go out in the field, you could go out on the mountain, you could go wherever you want with your laptop and start capturing. And you can do that literally in a few minutes. So you just put on the suit, 
you do a two-step calibration, which literally takes 10 seconds, and now you're capturing data. So we have the Perception Neuron Studio sensors that he's wearing. It's going to be going into the Axis Studio software, and then we're going to push that into Unreal to drive the Rampage character and the Crunch robot character to set up a monster fight. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the two characters that I have to bring to life. Even though they're both giant characters, one's more organic, one's more robotic. So we wanna make sure that I have uh, different movements for each one. Like for the Rampage character, he's more of a monster. He's more of a kaiju, he, you know, he's, he's very physical. He's just really wild. We're gonna go with that, the name of Rampage, and we're just gonna let him riff and just, you know, go crazy. Now let's go over to Crunch. He's now, gonna take care of this monster. I size him up. Oh, I know what to do with this. Get the weapons ready. Fire. All right, so I took your two performances and I put uh, one of your animations on the monster and then I put your other animation on the robot. Adjusted them in space, tightened up the timing a little bit and so now we can see your two characters fight. What's incredible about this too is it just shows that one person, you know, with this kind of suit can do their own kind of motion capture, you know? I mean, we weren't limited to a studio. This is a great space to work in, but you know, if, if I only had space in my bedroom, I could do this in my bedroom. Traditionally, I'm a Mac guy, but during the pandemic, things had to change and I needed to work from home. A lot of this technology runs on PC. I wanted to work in a new way. So the MSI GE76 gave me the chance to do that. You know, it's portable and I can take it anywhere. I don't use it just for work too. I can use it in my personal life. I can use it for email. I can watch videos on it. I can watch YouTube. And you know, I do do my research. So it comes in really, really handy as a personal uh, computer as well as a professional laptop. To me, motion capture is pure imagination. That's what I get to do. I get to use my imagination. I get to use my creativity. And I've been very, very fortunate in this world. Being an, a half Asian man, I was judged purely on my talent. It didn't matter what I looked like. It didn't matter my size. I was purely booking work on my talent. And that makes me feel really, really proud of, of, of myself and what I've done. It's been an incredible journey for me to say that I have made a motion capture career in 20 years and have worked on some of the top games, you know, in, in pop culture. It's a, it's a great honor. Welcome to another mod workshop. I am here with a, a, a uniquely dressed individual. Wow, <laughs> that's a good reaction right there. No, really excited about this because you are our first cosplayer oh, on really? the show. Yes. So we've had people who, who cosplay, but you actually cosplayed. Wow. So you're like a cosplayer who actually does what they said they're going to do. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> unlike those posers. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but for those people who don't know who is who you are, why don't you introduce yourself versus me like completely messing up. Tell yeah. us your story. Start at the beginning. I was a wee lass. No, just kidding. No. I, I was a wee weeb. <laughs> That's actually probably my beginnings of my origin story. Okay. It was I was a weeb. But hi, nice to meet you. My name is Psycho, also known as Dawn. Uh, I'm a cosplayer and streamer on Twitch. Uh, I've been cosplaying for almost 10 years now, and so I do a little bit of, you know, both streaming, both cosplaying, mostly streaming, but also still cosplaying. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there's an interesting conversation we were having just in, uh, in the background, like, Cosplaying can actually be physically demanding. Oh, actually. yeah. Yeah, which I think a lot of people are like, oh, oh yeah. they, they think it's like, oh, it's like Halloween. You know, I go and I put on like one of those cheapy plastic costumes and I wear it all day and everything. But that, you guys put a lot of time and effort. And sometimes it can be like, you know, for instance, like whether it's uh, like a certain uh, like armor or whatever, it can be heavy, it can be all sorts of things. So to do it isn't just about looking good, it's about looking the part. And then sometimes actually having like, and it ha have an impact on your physical oh, yeah. fitness, for, for so to speak, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm. I do this thing where I take two tunnels before I get into cosplay. Okay. Because no matter what, I'm going to get a headache. 
I have oh, a lot of hair, wow. but I need to shove all that hair into a wig and then put it, put something on top of it. And then sometimes you got attachments, like these ponytails are attachments. Sometimes you got armors and crowns on your head. Wow. And so, yeah, cosplay is is not it's it's not as easy as it looks. No, <laughs> and, and the other thing too is it can also be a it can be a it can be a pretty expensive thing too as well, right? Like a lot of times it's not. Some people just look at it, but a lot of the parts end up being custom made. You have to custom mm -hmm. order materials and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Oh yeah. What is the what is the craziest cosplay? play you've ever done craziest craziest like okay so <laughs> i guess that depends what you define as crazy but uh, uh well I, how about how about you define what you think is crazy <laughs> so i would define this as crazy is okay. so i cosplayed um a outfit from an mmorpg called blade and soul okay the outfit is like it's it's called the lichen outfit. Okay. It was the gin form, and I hot glued myself into the outfit because a lot of the like armor pieces attached in places that doesn't make sense to attach with like straps. Okay. So I wore a pair of tights and just started hot gluing them in onto my leg. Okay. Okay. That was, <laughs> that, that's okay. That was a key part there. I was at first. I was just like. Like, wait, you just like, you're like, the, the tights part was important. You're like, oh, okay, oh. I, was like, I was like, you're like, yeah, no, I just like sit there. I was like, oh, I need to put something on my elbow. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, the tights weren't even that thick, you know? <laughs> so it was like, it was, it was uncomfortable then. It, it was definitely uh, painful. And, you know, I had, thankfully, like I used like lower heat hot glue. If it was right. high, high heat hot glue, I definitely would have burns on my legs. But it wasn't the most pleasant experience, but it's the things you do for the things you love. You there know? you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, no, I'm feeling really bad about the times when I have to lift like a heavy PC case and that's like the worst that it ever gets for me. But um, that, that's pretty incredible. I mean, so I, you know, the one thing is, is that I have, so I, I, wor I worked in game development for 20 years. And so I've got to meet a bunch of cosplayers Ooh. just through Xbox and all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. And it, 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 it continues to impress me just how much and how hard you guys work to do things. And sometimes, sometimes it's just about just it's so the community has something to sit there and say like, wow, that's really awesome to see it alive. Yeah. Um, have you had like, so um, have you gone to a lot of conventions and things like that? What are some, what are some of your favorite moments like from a convention? Ah, uh, so for me, I remember this was actually when I first started cosplaying and I, uh, when I first started cosplaying, I made a lot of my own costumes Okay. and the costumes that I made weren't usually from anime. They're actually from video games. Okay. I love MMORPGs. Okay. Uh, so I remember this was back, I think it was like uh, at Yomacon, like eight years ago, I was cosplaying this uh, outfit from a game called Dragonest. It's okay. an MMORPG. Not very many people know about no, it. No, haven't heard of it. I, no, it's funny. <laughs> I feel like I'm quite a, 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 a video game aficionado. Mm -hmm. And so far, you've named two games that I've never heard of. Really? Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, I, but apparently, probably I'm just a little bit more mainstream. <laughs> May, I don't know. Um, but uh, okay, so you were there. You got finished. You were. You did this character, okay? Yeah. And then, so the most satisfying feeling is when someone recognizes your cosplay when you don't expect them to recognize right. it. Right. And like, I remember this little girl came up to me and she's like, oh, "Are you cosplaying from Dragonest?" And I looked at her and I was like, "You know what I am? You know what I'm, what I'm wearing?" And and we just had this like, you know, we geeked out about the game. Like we got really excited and it was just such a wholesome experience for me. And that's like, I always look back to that and I was like, "Yes, this is what makes cosplaying worth it." <laughs> well, today you are cosplayed for some, from a character from one of my like my favorite anime, which is oh, Neon really? Genesis Evangelion. Yes. <laughs> and so I just got finished doing an Evangelion build. Uh -huh. um, and so. So uh, I was, it was funny, my, I uh, had my wife come and watch the show with me, and she's like, wow, this show is really inappropriate. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes, that is, that is very true. If you've ever watched it, there's a lot of really messed up stuff in that anime um, in terms of just ages and all sorts of things that kind of go in there. Um, but uh, why don't you explain who you are and who you're here, who you're here for today, who you are today? That, who I'm right? cosplaying as? Yeah, who you're cosplaying as. That's so the right thing. <laughs> I'm cosplaying as Asuka. Yep. Yeah, as you know, she yep. is a character from Evangelion. Um, I would say she is the book... Uh, what's, what's the right word? The classic Zendaria type. And that's like, you know, I don't. it's not like I like you or anything type yes. of character. Yep, yep. <laughs> It's really funny because like the crew has all sorts of plans for when we finish the build today in terms of pro lines and stuff that we're gonna say. <laughs> um, so just given that I, they do know that I like it, and you know, and she's an she is an Ava pilot and all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. Really, really fun character in the. She's like she is in a lot of ways 
what brings some levity to mm -hmm. the actual universe. Oh, yeah. Because that universe is actually super dark when oh, you really so think about dark. it. it's so dark. It's a very it's dark like, anime. Hey, you have to have like a 13-year-old kid uh, pilot a robot and there's nobody else and they have to take on like this incredibly emotional and just draining experience mm -hmm. while also just like at the same time like all the kids at school hate them at first. Yeah. You're like, what the deuce? Like these, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start going off. But it's, it's, uh, <laughs> we can it's talk pretty, about it together yeah, later. <laughs> exactly, we'll talk about it together later. But that is not why we're also here. Um, so just for those of you who don't know, who've never been to a mod workshop, let me explain to you kind of what the dealio is. What we're going to do is you and I, we're going to build a PC together, but not the whole thing. Oh, okay. But most of it. So okay. we'll build all the fun stuff, and then you get to go do the fun stuff while I finish the boring stuff. Okay. Now, a lot of my audience really loves the boring stuff, but a lot of your audience who probably comes and watch you play Genshin Impact uh -huh. and all the other games that you do, yeah. but so we want to give them something that both people can kind of enjoy. Okay. So we're going to get through the motherboard and all that sort of stuff, and then once we're done with that, uh, you're going to take a break. You're going to uh -huh. go change, right. so that way you can have a relaxed experience while gaming. Mm -hmm. um, and then while I will sit here and I will finish the PC, and we'll converse while that's happening yeah. at the same time. Sounds good. Um, let's talk about what we're actually putting inside of her PC because the cool thing is I get to have uh, first huge shout out to MSI who sponsored a lot of this stuff but at the same time I get to get to put a little bit of my personality inside of the builds that we do with you so let's talk about the parts we're putting in here today so on today's build we're putting a Core i9-12900K pretty much one of the best if not the best CPU there's the, the KS but you're getting a K, which is fantastic uh, you've got an MSI MAG Z690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi we're gonna be using DDR4 you're using an MSI GeForce 3070 Gaming Trio Plus. Uh, you've got a one terabyte Intel SSD 660p NVMe SSD. You've got 32 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z RGB at 3200 megahertz. Uh, you've got an NZXT H7 Flow, beautiful case. Uh, you've got a MSI MAG Core Liquid C360 cooler to cool that beautiful and also a little bit warm 12900K. And then you've got Lee and Lee Uni AL120 fans. Everybody loves these fans because they're just plenty of RGB. And then we've got MSI MAG A1000G uh, PSU, and then we're going to be adding some red Asia Horse cable. So it'll be Ooh. like kind of a red red kind of key theme, and then you can just change the colors wherever you want. But it'll look very pretty when we're done. Which red is, makes sense which for Asuka. What, yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> so we figured red, red makes sense and all that sort of stuff. So that's the build that we're building today. Now, Genshin Impact pretty much runs on a potato. So this will run your game. <laughs> this, this will run the game absolutely fine. What, what other games do you play, though? Uh, so I, like I said, I like playing MMORPGs. Yep. So there's a lot of, th and those can, why, those are pretty, and those can be pretty, intensive. those can be pretty graphic intensive. So do you play like Final Fantasy? What other games do you play? Uh, I don't play Final Fantasy. Okay. I don't want to lose myself to Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I played a bit so of, so World of Warcraft then. <laughs> oh, in the past I did, okay, not anymore. Okay. Uh, I played Lost Ark when it first came okay, out. Okay. That's a great game. Not I do anymore. you know that one? Hey, <laughs> I know one. Actually, I know two. <laughs> Um, I also s play a little bit of FPS games. So okay. I've played like Apex, okay, Valorant, CSGO, Rainbow Six. Uh, I've also played League of Legends. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So yeah, so and, and League also runs in a potato. But the good thing is, is that uh, Apex, I mean, when you got a 12900K and a 3070, you're looking 200 plus FPS yeah. at low visual settings. Uh, if you wanted to play Fortnite, Rainbow Six runs at like a bajillion frames per second. Um, so you got no issue there. Um, so this will this'll run all of those games. That'll give you a lot of variety. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the system you're using now? No? It's a pre-built that I got from Best Buy a year and a half ago. Uh, it's, hey, you it know what? Works. <laughs> I have no issues with pre-builds. You know, sometimes people need PCs, right? Like, sometimes you're just like, I just want to go in there. I want, I want something that works. You usually will just tell the guys, like, hey, I need it to do this. Yeah. And then they'll sell you what they can. And it, it, it did good, right? Like, yeah, yeah it, exactly. just a job. You don't have to be, like, here's the thing. is like, every time somebody goes and talks to me, they're like, Hey, Roby, I own a pre-built. Don't be ashamed. You're a PC gamer. Like, welcome to PC gaming. And you got to start somewhere. And not everybody's ready to go and just build their own PC. Not everybody gets to be on a show and get to build it together. So I think that's rad. No, props. Aww, welcome. You have you. no <laughs> issue whatsoever with you owning a pre-built. And if you have a pre-built, you have nothing to be ashamed of, guys. So uh, welcome to the show, though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Today, we're going to start building. And we're going to start. We're going to teach you a little bit about building a PC today. And then you can start your own tech show. So you can be Ooh. cosplay, tech show. Um, gaming, uh -huh. all games that I don't know about, um, and then uh, we'll go from there. So it'll okay. be fun. Sounds good. Just kidding. Okay, so we're going to start. Let's grab your motherboard. This is your motherboard right here. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and pop that open, just so open you can just up. open the box up. I'm going to find the knife. Uh... They took the knife. We can't get into it. The knife's gone. <laughs> knife's gone. Here you go. So he's running out. Oh, whoa. That's not going to do you any good. This is from another build. That's not oh. going to do you any good at all. Oh, you know what? I should grab the right box. <laughs> I was so, surprised. I, I was like, oh, your PC's that's done. How yes. it looks. 
hey, here you go. Here's all the parts that we need. Uh, we're just going to guess what they are. No, this is actually from last week's Little Aggie build. It's like, hey, Little Aggie, uh, we have your motherboard box, just as an FYI. Uh, let's grab your real one over there. So actually, it's right behind you. The Z690 Tomahawk. There this it is. One? Yep. Ooh, okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Stealing my knife, Troy. Try that again. Try that again. Okay. Go ahead and open it up. See if this is actually it. Ah, that looks better. That looks way better. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is actually a motherboard, unlike what you just opened. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and take that out of the box there. Oh, you want me to take this out? Isn't yes. this like the most important pe part? Uh, they're all important. So any, if any part, so the thing is, oh, sorry, real, real, real question. Does the PC need to work when we're done? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay, okay. <laughs> Crap. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, go ahead and take it out of the back. No, you're not. Trust me, you're not gonna break anything. Go ahead and just take it out. Okay, you trust me, right? I do. I okay. do trust you. If is you there a special let me way just tell you what you do when you make these uh -huh. way harder than what we're about to do. Oh, okay, okay. So <laughs> let me just be. Let me just say that what you do is harder than what I do. Just dead. Just dead to rights. I'm so nervous. I've never built a PC before. Well, it, and I know that this is we, very fragile and expensive. <laughs> there we go. So, so fragile and expensive. We'll throw that in there. Oh. And we'll go ahead, this is your Wi-Fi. So when you are ready to connect to Wi-Fi, there you go. Oh, I love these. They look like chopsticks. A little, yeah. <laughs> Don't use them for that. <laughs> that would be bad. Um, and they wouldn't work. But you can go ahead and put that back in there. OK, okay cool. So uh, now what you can do is we're going to have you go ahead and take that out of the bag. Take it out? Yep. Got it. And then you're just going to lay it on the table uh, just as it is right now, just out of the bag. Can I flip it over? Yeah, you can flip it over, okay. take it, undo that. Yep. And while you're doing that, I'm going to cut open your CPU. OK. And then just slide it out. Perfect. And we'll take this little bag, throw that in there. And then yep, you just go and lay it like this. OK. So this is your motherboard. So this is basically all of the things that you're going to plug into to basically make your PC work. Pretty okay. straightforward. What I'm going to have you do uh -huh. is you're going to push this out and then lift it up. Uh -huh. And then just go ahead and start with that. Push it out. Yep. Uh -oh. Push down and over. Push down and over. Okay, Ooh. perfect. And yeah. then what you're going to do is you're going to grab that little lift and this then lift. lift that open. Yep. Wow. And there is where your CPU is going to go. Now, we don't want to bend any of those. That would be okay. bad, which we won't. Okay. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, so go ahead and open this up. It just opens. It's like magnetic. Oh. You're just going to pull it from the back or like right here. Oh, oh that's there you so go. fancy. Oh. <gasps> it is fancy, right? That was so cool. That was that was such an experience. And you can go and take that out. Yep. Oh my gosh. You know, you, don't worry, you're fine. That's what you need. That is actually a wafer, just so you know. Why and there, so when you when you actually make a CPU, see these little squares? Mm -hmm. Those are all CPUs. So what these are, they're on really big platters when uh -huh. you get a when they, they they print them at the factory. And this is just a replica of one to celebrate their 12th gen. That's so CPU. cool. This is so fancy. The packaging is so nice. That's you know what? Honestly, it's one thing Intel does really well. <laughs> um, so, uh, wh by the way, she's sending you a message. So, uh, you, one person probably just won ten thousand dollars, and that was the secret code. <laughs> just, just D him her later. She'll get you that. She'll get you that money. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now, what you're promises. gonna do is you're gonna just twist it like this, okay. and then it opens up. Oh, and it's just a twisty open? open. Yep. Sure. And then your Whoa. actual CPU's in there. There you go. Wow. Okay. So, if you want to take that out of the package, there. Just, and then I'll take this and put this off to the side. You just kind of look at that. And I want to take this out as well? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Okay, just stand, don't touch. stand by to stand by. <laughs> She's over there standing at attention. I didn't mean that. She's like disengaged. She's like, I'm done. Call, call, me, call me when time's to go. That was, like a, that was like a Blair Witch moment right there. Okay, so now what you're going to do is I'm going to hold this open. And you are going to grab it from the sides. Okay. And you're going to set it right in there. Oh, my gosh. This is precision work. It is. Except for it's a really big square. You did this in kindergarten. That's how easy it is. <laughs> okay. Square pig goes in square hole. Oh, just like that. And then just, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Oh, nice. So and then you can just make sure it's in. It's wiggle it. Yep, it's good. Okay, okay so good. now what you're going to do, this is a fun thing, okay? It's fun. Okay, it's okay, fun. Okay, so you're going to take I'm your thumb, fun. and you're going to push this down. Uh -huh. And then once it gets down, you're going right. to reclose this just like you had it before. No, don't, yeah. There, don't, there. Oh, you're right. You're right. Put your thumb there. Okay. Now, now grab this little lever. Right. Keep pushing. Keep pushing down. Okay. Keep pushing. Oh, is that supposed to happen? Yeah, that was no. That's fine. Was that supposed to happen? Yeah, that was fine. Now push it back under. I'm scared. There you go. <laughs> You've done it. Good job. <laughs> Why are you crying? You did a good thing. I thought I broke it. <laughs> 
No, you didn't break it. You just, <laughs> you had this moment of pause. It's like, yes, that's just supposed to, it's the cover to protect the socket. Oh, okay. So it pops off. Now, sometimes it'll pop off so high, it'll clear the VRM, and then we go, go, and stuff like that. But it's, <laughs> it's uh, this one didn't do, it didn't do it as well. But anyway, it was, uh, it was fun. Um, no, that was actually absolutely supposed to happen. Okay. Okay, you're totally Thank okay. God. Your PC's right. still going to work. Don't, don't panic. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing bad has happened yet. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is this is the RAM. Okay. And so this, uh, the thing about RAM is that it's, it's very ASMR. You know what, I'm assuming you know what ASMR is, right? Yeah. 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 So people really love how loud the clicks are. Oh. So I'm going to show you how to do it once. Okay. And then you'll do it with the second stick. Okay. Sometimes you'll get weak in the knees. It's just that awesome. Okay. So just be prepared. We have mattresses on site <laughs> should you faint. Um, but we'll see what, we'll essentially see what happens. <laughs> I'll try my best not to faint. I'm just telling you, this can be a pretty out-of-body experience. Have you ever seen anyone faint? I've tried it a couple. I mean, I've, I've been pretty close. I mean, I will say, there's some pretty quality clicks going on there, and it's, it can be pretty awesome. This is like the dullest knife on the planet now. I don't know, have you, I don't know if, uh, Will, have you been like cutting, uh, you know, teppanyaki with that thing? What's going on? <laughs> they don't trust me. Like, we're making it less sharp. You're not allowed to have it. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so let me show you how to do this once, and then you'll repeat the process. Okay. I thought you were going to ask a question. I just realized you're just standing back. Okay. I thought you were like, <laughs> I have a question. I was like, she seems really concentrated. What's your question? No, there's okay. no question. There's no question. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to learn. Okay. You are really into this. That's awesome. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to point the sticker out this way. Okay. And then we essentially stick it in just like this. Uh-huh. Then we're going to take our thumbs, mm -hmm. and thumbs on both sides. Now listen, ready? Right. You, you prepared? Yes. Ooh. See what I mean? That was nice. And clean. Now, you can get a double. You know what I mean? It just uh -huh. depends on how. Now, that's years ah, of practice. Okay. So you're Sometimes gonna do it it's for like the, a tick, tick, or yeah. it's like a tick. Exactly. <laughs> I see. You, are, you honestly have gotten it more than 90% of people I've told this. They're like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, no, really. It's just about the clicks. But people love the clicks. Um, okay. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Same thing. You're okay. just going to set it in. Also, I'll right. place it for you. Oh, thank you. And oh, then okay. from there, you're going to use the right. same I technique. I get to do the little click, click now. And then remember, you may disappoint people. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh I'm, no. This is not trick ram. One, two. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Can we please do that again? <laughs> that that can't be that can't be how you left it. No. You're gonna do it better. Now that you know how now that you know how strong you can view, you really have to give it some push, okay? I know that you're stronger than that, okay? We're gonna, here we go. Okay. We're gonna have a moment. We're gonna have a better click than that. Okay. I mean, people are crying. I bet, I bet I really disappointed a lot of people with that one. Okay, just know that you gotta put a lot of pressure. <laughs> I'm a disappointment like yeah. Shinji. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, his dad, that kid's got so, look! There we go. Thank you, There Jimmy. we go. <laughs> that was better. Okay, that was some quality clicks right there. Okay, so next up, we're gonna put in your hard drive. Okay. And in order to do that, we're going to grab this really small screwdriver right here. So this is the NVMe drive that you're going to install all your stuff onto. Ooh. Okay, so what you're going to do, take this, mm -hmm. and then you're going to remove that screw and that screw. Now, the screws don't always come out. They'll just, like, come to, they're, they're called captive, so they'll try and stay inside. They, it may. I'm just giving you a heads up. Okay. So just go ahead and start unscrewing it and then remove that panel. While you're doing that, I'm going to open up your hard drive. Remember, it's lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Not everybody remembers that one. I remember that one. Don't worry. Some people, it's like they get done. They haven't done like d done a lot of stuff with like screw driving. I, actually, I be I bet you guys do a lot because with cosplaying, you probably actually do a lot of that stuff. But most people are like, you haven't used a screwdriver in years. I'm like, really? oh, really? Man, you use a screwdriver just to build IKEA furniture. That is true. <laughs> actually, that's mostly like, yeah, I get oh, no. It's like the little. It's a little the, hex the, thing. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what? I'll tell you. If you can build a, if you can build a, I'll tell you this. If you can build IKEA furniture, you can build a PC because IKEA furniture is way harder than building wow. a PC. That stuff is terrible. Maybe I can build a PC. You can. And like yeah, some of the IKEA, who can I? Can I get a raise of hands? How confusing is IKEA furniture instructions? You get up there and you're like, hey, I bought this nine dollar table and it comes with a thirty seven page book, and you're like, how does this thing that has five pieces have seventy six? steps and you need like three people and to you need build three it. people to build it it's like too heavy and you're like it's not adult lego it's adult mega blocks we're not 
we're not putting Ikea, we're not comparing Lego that makes a lot of sense with Ikea. We're, we'll compare it with like the cheaper Mega Blocks. It's like, a, it's like adult Mega Blocks, not adult Lego, just saying. We're going there, you know, like people know what I'm saying. Yeah. Try a Walmart piece of, okay, great. That's nice to see that there is stuff that's harder than that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> imagine, imagine Ikea furniture without instructions. That would be the oh, worst. Oh, that'd be kind of fun though. Like imagine like a challenge where you have to build a furniture with no instructions. I feel like, I feel like you've got your next YouTube idea. <laughs> Choose your, choose your, here's what you, okay, choose your best cosplay. Yeah. And you say, so we'll just say, like, who, what's your favorite, co if you could, who's your next cosplay character? Next cosplay? Yeah. Oh, that's a secret. Okay. <laughs> who's the one before that, then? Who's, who's your latest? My latest cosplay was, uh, what was my latest? What was my latest? Besides this one. That would, we can't count oh, this one. Oh, Yellen from Genshin Impact. Who? Yellen. Yellen. Is it Yellen? Yellen. Yellen, Y-E-L-L-O-N? Y E L A N. Oh, Yellen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y E. Okay. So Yellen builds IKEA furniture without instructions. I don't know. YouTube, right there, <laughs> basically million view. Mr. Beast, eat your heart out. Which, by the way, can we just have a moment? Congratulations, Mr. Beast, on a hundred million subscribers. You can hit that today while we're on the phone. Yeah. So did you watch this? Yeah. So I got to watch I it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. But a hundred million subscribers. That's a that's a pretty crazy deal. I, I was like pretty happy. He got more subscribers in like five seconds than I got like in the whole last year. I was like, wow. It was crazy watching that whole thing. Anyway, <laughs> another story. Um, okay, so here's your hard drive. Uh, did you take this out? Oh, I didn't take it out. Okay, cool. I okay, did unscrew them. Okay, so what you can do now is you're yes. going to, so there's a sticker here. Ooh, a peely? It, yeah, a peely. Just... But you want to keep the, the, see how there's like this part underneath? You want to keep the sticky down. Oh, got it, got it, got there it. There you go. Okay, so I just want the clear part you off. You just want the clear part off, yeah. Yes, the Yellen, the armpit queen of Genshin. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you do. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> okay, here we go. So what we're going to do here, so this is, see there's a little slot in the PCB? Uh-huh. There's a little slot right here. What you're yeah. going to do is you're going to pop that in, okay. and it's going to give a nice click. And then when it's in, it'll actually act like a diving board. Oh, okay. Go, yeah, it'll act, yeah, But exactly. I don't want to do that, right? No, oh, you can. It's fine. That's how oh. you just kind of know it's in. So give it a good push. Okay. Remember, you give it more force than you think. There you go. And then oh, see? See how it? you can... See? <laughs> <laughs> it brings you joy, doesn't it? It does bring me joy. Uh, I know. Um, okay, so here we're going to do is I'm going to set this down. Uh -huh. We're just going to kind of get this little clip over. Okay, cool. Okay. And then now you're going to take this that you took off and you're going to put it right back on. Okay, got it. So it's going to go just back on and then using the same screwdriver. Good job. I feel so accomplished today. I like how Trey laughed at that. <laughs> he was not laughing at you. By the way, he was laughing at something completely different because I got asked, okay, I'm just going to make this clear for people because people are like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So somebody asked if we could hear something offset and then I, I did a thumbs up and I was like, and I was like, well, that's going to look out of place. So I'm going to act like it actually has something to do with what we're doing on the show when I was actually answering his question. But then what happened was is that Troy totally knew what I was doing. So he started laughing. And then I was like, oh, I'm not laughing at you. But then I was like, you know, if I don't explain it to her, she will think I'm laughing at her. So what I'm going to do is just make it awkward right now and just tell you the whole thing. There it is, out on the table. Koji, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, cool. That's you got it. it in. Yes. And both of them are good? Solid. Okay, so at this point in time... You've got about 85% of the motherboard done. Most Ooh. of the core hard part of the, the build is actually finished. Really? But, yeah, because this is like pretty much your brain, mm -hmm. your, it's your brain's memory. Mm -hmm. This is your, like your long-term memory. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add like the, um, essentially the parts that are going to keep it cool. cool right. um, so <clears> it's all good there. Now, but we get to do the fun part. This, this I think you're going to be really good at. This is called painting. We're going to paint. Ooh, okay. We're going to paint with paste. Um, and so this is thermal paste. Mm -hmm. And so what thermal paste does is that, like, even though this looks absolutely flat, uh -huh. what this does is this fills in all of the imperfections. And when you put the cooler on top of it, it makes sure there's a seamless connection. So the heat from the CPU transfers directly to the cold plate, so that way it can get cool. So that's essentially what you're doing. So what you want to do is we want to make a very smooth, top, like, thin layer of CPU paste, right. thermal paste, on top of the CPU. Sure. So I'm going to just put a little bit on here for you. Mm. About... That, uh, a little bit more than that. <laughs> it looks like poop. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. It's basically PC poop. PC uh, poop. <laughs> um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to use this uh -huh. little thing, and you're going to spread it 
even okay. until you cover it. What's this whole thing right here is called the IHS. Right. It's the basically the heat spreader. You want to cover that entirely with a thin layer of the poop. Okay, and not the outer, just just. The no, inner. just just this inside silver. Okay, yep. Got it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> And can I show you a little technique? Yeah. So here's one way to do it. So what you do is you put your finger. Uh huh. It's like a. Like oh. A knife. Oh, that is that is the the pro strats here. Yeah, pro strategy. Use your finger on the little thing and then just kind of spread it out and then get it all the way over. You don't have to push too hard. Okay. But you just want to get it all over the entire thing. And then I even it out afterwards. Yeah, you just want to even it out afterwards. Yep, just like that. And it's okay to get a little bit on the other side on the sides and stuff. We'll clean that off. I meant. Don't get any down there, but oh, I mean okay. on the side of the other thing. Um, and this is like just what she's doing right now is just making sure that reason we cover the entire IHS is that when we might see if we have like a cooling issue or whatever it was, if we remove the AIO, because we've covered the entire IHS, we can actually look to see if there's things that aren't touching or stuff like that versus if you do like the P method. So it actually just does a better job of us knowing if there's a problem to troubleshoot that issue. Um, and a lot of other people, Jay, uh, myself, um, Kingpin, uh, there's a lot of people who like to do this method for that very reason. So that's why we're actually doing it. So a lot of people, they say, oh, I just do the, the P method or I do the, the X method. This way, you can ensure that if there is an issue with your cooler, you can find it. Okay. Perfect. That is great. Now, you don't have to cover it. Look, when we actually put the cold plate on, the rest of it will spread, so you can, oh. you'll still get pretty much everything. So you're, okay. we'll still be able to troubleshoot if there's an issue. Okay. So that's that. We're just going to get this cleared. So you can use it on the next one. Good job. Thank you. That's the fun part right there, right? The Bob Ross moment right there. Okay, so that is done. Um, now we can actually put your AIO bracket on, which is the next step. And I'll crack this open, and then I'll have you open this, and you can start grabbing out the little parts. Okay. And, okay, so are you going to be doing, are you going to be heading to any of the upcoming conventions or anything like that on your, is there stuff on your list? Uh, well, I was just at Anime Expo. Okay. Which, which was, was awesome. It was awesome. It was very busy. Very busy. It was very awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you added that. Yeah, the, entry, the opens right there. Um, and then uh, I think up in Seattle we have PAX. Yep. We have PAX West. I do plan on going to PAX for day. Oh, should I rip it open? It should just come open. I did cut it. Uh, let's not be Maybe crazy. It's a little bit. Oh, it's this. You got to pull the little. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. I'm, I'm smart. <laughs> so PAX is coming up, and I do plan on going to PAX for, I think, one day. I haven't really decided if I want to stay longer than a day. Okay. Um, besides that, I don't actually have very many cons like that I'm scheduled for. I feel like after COVID, we weren't going to any cons, and like we were all staying at home. I got very comfortable and used to that. <laughs> So is it kind of heavy, heavy, you did Anime Expo, which yeah. was busy. I mean, yeah. that was like, it was, there was a lot of people there. I know people here in the studio were there. Um, mm -hmm. I actually, I was supposed to go um, because Height had that really nice, the, I don't know if you got to see the Y60, but they had that anime painted Y60 that they did oh, a build of, that's which cool. is really cool. Um, but it was just like booked. But I like, it looked super rad. It looked like it was a heck of a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so did you dress up for that one? I did. Uh, I was cosplaying at the Honkai Star Rail booth, which is a game by Hoyoverse, as Kafka. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. And di so when you get, like, are those, like, where companies commission you to play a character, so to speak? Uh, it's, I would say it's more kind of like model work. Okay. I don't have to, like, pretend I'm the character and, like, say their voice lines and stuff, but I do have to cosplay as them. Do usually, they send you the costume? Yeah, usually oh, okay. they tailor and provide it to my Oh, machine. that's kind of yeah. cool. Okay, wow, that's pretty. So you didn't have to go and make that. You're like, yeah, oh, yeah. hey, if you give me six months ahead up, then maybe yeah. I can be there on time yeah. and make it myself. <laughs> okay, uh, if you want to go and take those two little 3M things off. Okay. There we go. Just like that, perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this whole board over, like so. Ooh. And what you're going to do, see how there's these four holes? They go, yeah. That goes in those four holes right there. And then we'll just get, you want to give it a little press once you have it locked in. Just press it here so that way it sticks onto the 3M stuff. Perfect. Awesome. Now we're going to flip this back over. And then what you're going to do here mm -hmm. is you're going to see that we have these four posts. So you're going to take the small end, you're going to put them in 
in each corner, just like that. And then tighten them all the way down. There we go. Perfect. And then each, yep. There it is. So is there, um, is there a particular one? So you, what, was, what has been your favorite one to go to? Uh, oh, convention? Yeah, convention of every year. Because mm. there's usually a ton of them, right? But what's your, like, your one that you look forward to every year? So I haven't gone in a while, but okay. my favorite convention of all time is called Colossal Con. Oh, why is that? It's, it's at a Kalahari water resort. Wow, okay. In the summer. So it's an anime convention, but it's at a water resort. And so everyone's, you know, playing wa at the, you know, water slides. Everyone's in their swimsuits, running around, having a good time. There's villas. And it's just a vacation convention. Well, that's, don't actually actually pretty, go to, like, that's actually pretty epic. So did they have it this year? I think they did. I didn't okay. go, though. Okay. Okay. So, but that's the one that you look forward to the most. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite convention of all the time. Nice. Okay. And then uh, what about TwitchCon? Are you going to do anything at TwitchCon or anything like that or no? Oh, this coming TwitchCon, yeah. I do plan on going. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. There you go. And then have you, like, so since you've been doing streaming and stuff like that, do you have, um, have you done, been able to do meet and greets with, like, your community at these oh. locations or anything like that yet? I haven't personally created a formalized meet and greet. Okay. Um, when I am cosplaying, like, at the booth, like, Star Rail, for example, yep. like, you know, some of my Twitch frogs came up and said hi because they knew I was going to be there. Uh, I guess, like, something like a more formalized meet and greet would be really amazing, though. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want to grab your case, Ooh. yep, let, let you get used to the, the heft of it. There we go. And so we'll get this. This is, guys, this is the rated PG-13 part of the show. So uh. if you have your kids in the room, this is the part. We're going to get this case down to its nakedness. Um, and so uh, just be prepared. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take all of the, the, the side panels and stuff off so we can just get it down to the point where we can actually work in it. So we'll start from the front. Uh, if you want to pull here, just give it a solid tug towards you. Thank you. I want to just say, can I just say how much I appreciate the fact that you actually gave it a solid tug? <laughs> There's been people, like, it was yeah, Aggie. Aggie was like, there. he was like, it's, it's not, I'm like, dude, solid tug. So, which Aggie's awesome, um, but yeah, uh, just saying, thank you for doing the solid tug. Okay, same thing in the back here. You see there's a little lip. We're uh -huh. going to give that a solid pull up. And I like, show, I like having you guys do this because... It shows you, if you need to work on your PC, the stuff that you need to do. Ah, I see. Oh, and this is like a filter. Yep. If you want to take that out. So just kind of from the front here. Yeah, from the front, you can kind of just push. And then, yep, it's real, that one's really easy. Um, okay, same thing on this other side. <gasps> you really have stripped it down. So, yeah, you're going to go ahead and take the solid pull from right here. You got your little... <laughs> with this, and then just pull it on the... Yeah, from the top. There you go. And then it just pulls and then lifts up. Do it more pull. More pull here? Yeah, pull there. Yep. There you go. And then just lift up. There we go. Perfect. You hand that to me. Okay. And then the last one is from, I'm going to make sure the glass doesn't break. Last one is going to be at the front. So you see there's a little hole right there for you. Oh. It's going to pull that towards you. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Okay. So now the case is naked. I'm really sorry. If uh, if you if you if you have to explain some things to your kids, like Dad, why is he taking all the stuff off the PC case? I mean, that could be you know. Um, but there it is. So now, and if you actually see now, it's actually a whole lot lighter. Like you don't have anything to worry about because it's just much easier to work in. <laughs> I'm just saying, makes it a lot easier to build in. Okay. So last thing you're gonna do before we game. Okay. We're gonna put this inside of that, which makes a lot of sense, right? Because you actually need you want the motherboard inside of the PC. So we're going to set that down like that. Now what you're going to do is you see how there's a long rectangle right here and there's a little hole. See that peg right there? Yeah. That hole is going to go over that peg and it's just going to kind of sit down. And the way okay. to grab it sure. is just kind of like this. You're just going to kind of set it in. Okay. Okay? You can do it. Oh. Just like, and just goes in, yep, just kind of slides in and over. There you go. And then you just want to get it on that middle peg. And it'll just kind of clip in. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Get in the robot. <laughs> get in the freaking robot. <laughs> Why is it not going in? Oh, wait, is it in? It Actually. might be in. I, I, think you're, I think you're overthinking this. Let me take a look. Okay. Let, me, let me just make sure. 
It's okay. So it's being a little. There you go. It was just. It was. You just had to give a little push. Thank you very much for having that moment. I was like, but <laughs> Shinji, get in the robot. Get in the robot. He doesn't get in the robot though. Just so you know. <laughs> I already watched it. <laughs> I mean, he gets in. Actually, no spoilers. No spoilers. Oh, it's like that's like episode two. I know. Yeah, so it's like if if, if you have a, if you, it's like I'm not. I don't. I feel bad. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna like talk about the whole thing, right? Like like what happens with all the angels? Then I think you'd have to you could spoil it. But I think you're okay. Um, okay. So there's our zip ties. We're gonna do the last thing, and everybody has to do this. So I'm not letting you get off the show without doing this oh. part. Okay. This is your. This is our hazing. Hazing. We're gonna use this massive screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> the way you just pulled it up, like <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Excalibur, it's Excalibur, Excalibur, <laughs> it's Excalibur. Yes. Um, and then uh, now, even though I did this yesterday, hopefully I chose the right screws, which I think it is these, but I might be wrong. So I'm going to try and see if these are the right screws, and hopefully they are. And if I'm not, then I'm sorry. So I'm going to try and put one of these in real quick, and then you will do the rest. Okay. And then after that, you can uh, we can get you ready for some gameplay. So here, let me take a look at this real quick. So a little trick with Excalibur, because it's so unwieldy. Just kind of set the screw down mm -hmm. like that, and then once it's in, then just give it a... Ooh, okay. Is it, like, magnetized at the end? It's some... But it, so even it, it actually is, but the screws aren't very good. <laughs> so you're going to want to use... That, those are the right screws. So here you go. Okay. So you're going to put screws here. Right. There's one there. So there's three at the top. Two, uh, actually, one here, and then three at the bottom. Okay. Okay, and you can see them, they're highlighted by these like little targets, essentially. Uh, okay. Did you get, oh, has anyone lost a screw? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the fun of it. Having you use this ridiculously long screwdriver, and it's just fun. There it is. But it gets the job done. And one screw in. And it should just stop. There he goes. Yeah, it's yeah. You're, I mean, you're, you want it. You want it to be tight, right? Because yeah. it's gonna be. Oh, and one thing I can do is just make it a little easier. Oh. Is doing this. Yeah. If that's easier, maybe that, maybe that was maybe that wasn't easier. No, I think that's easier. Okay, it's good. Here. So, um, so you are gonna do TwitchCon. You're gonna do PAX West. Yes. You think next year you'll hit more conventions or? Uh, I think so. I think yesterday. Sorry, yesterday. Next year, I would like to go to a few more conventions. Um, primarily, you know, because I know that in Seattle we do have like SoccerCon, Emerald City, Emerald City, City Comic Con, yep. which was I've gone to, which are very nice conventions. Uh, but I would like to do a little bit more traveling outside of Washington uh, for future conventions. So I'd love to go to like Fanime. That's I think that's in. What Santa about Comic Con? Oh, I don't actually usually go to Comic Con. But do you think you'd ever want to go to go see? Um, I've I've heard great things about San Diego. Yeah, San Diego SDCC. Comic -Con. Yeah, yeah. I definitely think that I would love to go someday just to experience a comic oh, well, now the build's ruined. <laughs> experience a Comic Con. Yeah. Um, cause 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 when it comes to Comic Con versus like anime conventions, they are a little bit different. Right. Uh, but not too different. I sometimes actually believe that the vibe for Comic Cons can be a little bit more chill than anime conventions. Really? Sometimes. Okay. That's yeah. interesting. I mean, so I've been to SDCC, I think twice, maybe three times. Uh -huh. Really, really enjoyed. I think the one thing is like SDC, so there's two conventions that if you're into video games and you're into and like just uh, cosplay, I feel like SDCC is one going to just because it just, it's like one of the biggest. Right. Um, the other one that's really good, believe it or not, is Gamescom. Oh. Which, have you ever heard of this one? No, I it's haven't. It's in Cologne, Germany. It's 500,000 oh. people. So it is like oh. it is like watching a sea of people, and it's it's happening this year. It's usually in August, so it's usually in late August. Wow. Pretty rad experience. I would um, love if you to ever go wanna, and yeah, so out of the country, and they they like cosplayers there are like heroes because not oh, yeah. everybody cosplays, um, but um, it's actually pretty cool. And a lot of I know a lot of cosplayers who really enjoy. Of course, it's expensive flying to Cologne, Germany, but um, yeah, pretty pretty cool. I would love to do that someday. I've yeah, actually, it's it's, it's yeah. yeah, Gamescom is huge. I don't know if it's it might be three hundred and four. It's still it's hundreds of thousands of people, guys. I, I like, versus just pulling a number out of my butt. Uh, I'm talking about a number that is like it's it's enormous. And I'll actually why don't we why don't we do this because Intel's in chat. We'll task Paul to see how many people attended um, two years ago when they actually last had it with the largest one. And so because you know that guy doesn't do anything else but buy really good Hello Pandas, which is awesome. So big big shout out to him for that. <laughs> He's like wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's actually not true. Paul works hard. He has saved this show so many times um, from, uh, from like um, last night Micro Center runs. It's like, okay, need you to go to Micro Center because we need a fan or whatever it was. So it's pretty actually odd. It's just a lot of people. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I've always wanted to go out of the country for a convention. I know that there are a lot of really amazing conventions, like the gig- giant one in Japan. What's it called? Again. TGS. Though there's Tokyo Game Show, yeah. which I've gotten to go, and that's actually pretty cool. Wow. I don't I don't know a lot of the anime conventions, but uh-huh. uh, yeah, I grew up in Japan. That's actually where oh, I actually that's was. So cool. Yeah, so I was that's where I spent most of my and actually I'm going there in, hopefully in September if it opens up. <gasps> we have our tickets and everything. Have fun. We're gonna go summit Fuji, but um yeah, Japan's I love Japan. <clears throat> Just a lot of people noted. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, okay, so you get them all in? Yep. You it- did it. Okay, well, now it becomes about me hooking up all the wires. Okay. And this becomes about you changing into regular Dawn. Yeah. So this is like a Transformer moment. So we're just going <laughs> to play like the Transformer. It's like a reverse tra- Transformer. We're going to play the Transformer music for the entire time. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to take a 10-minute break. Uh, we're going to let Dawn uh, get settled. Then we're going to come back. We'll finish this PC build. And uh, then we're going to have you play some Genshin Impact. So sure. what, 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 what kind of things are we going to see in Genshin Impact today? What do you think? She's going to beat the game. I'm going to do my gonna, resin. She's going to spend over... <laughs> wow, you just slammed your head. By the way, she's going to spend 20K on today's show. <laughs> that's like that's what all the Genshin, like every one of my friends, like uh, uh, Tectone and those guys are like, today I'm going to spend 20K. I'm like, why? But, you know... <laughs> why? <laughs> I love how that's what people think about Genshin players. I mean, they're not completely wrong. You know, we do kind of just like throw copious amounts of money at the game for absolutely no yeah. reason. For, for content. <laughs> In tax write-offs, but um, <laughs> I like that. There it is. That's a, that, for content and tax write-offs. <laughs> that was that was like. Notice how those are like still within the same sentence. Like she didn't quite take a breath, but um, going from there. <laughs> yes. Well, that's awesome. Okay, guys. So we'll be back in ten minutes. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, then you will see uh, a different dawn. Uh, sitting over, you're going to cosplay as a regular human. Yes. Uh, playing I'll be Genshin myself. Impact. She's yes. going to cosplay as a Twitch streamer I'm playing gonna, Genshin Impact. I know, crazy. <laughs> um, and go from there. So we'll be back in uh, about 10 minutes, and then we'll see you guys in just a few. Okay. Swing this one, but a good challenge ensues. A booming clear. Not able to get there in time. Hot for a minute. Good come back from There it is. Super you saw before you even have to talk about it. Working in the broadcast industry, it's quite exhilarating. There's no do-overs. You cannot go back and fix that mistake in post like you can in pre-recorded videos. It has a very similar aspect to it as musical performance. Six, five, four, three, ready, host, two, one, and one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're from. Viva la Rocket League! Hi, my name is Koji Kameda, and I am a broadcast director. I started out as a nano engineering major. I pursued that for four years before I realized I was pulling my hair out trying to understand things that I did not care about. I found out that there was a community of people in San Diego that played this game, Super Smash Brothers. There was not a lot of competitive infrastructure, and there was not a lot of coverage for said lack of infrastructure. So I kind of put two and two together and decided to start my own stream. I've learned to delegate. While it is very fulfilling, being a one-man team is also back-breaking. Quite frankly, the caliber of something one person can produce is a ceiling when it comes to that sort of a thing. There's a reason why football productions have hundreds of people on their production team. There were two broadcasts I was a part of last year, the Fortnite World Cup and the Apex Legends ESPN EXP Invitational, and both of them were nominated for a Sports Emmys Award for Outstanding Esports Coverage. I was very proud to be a part of both of those shows. It was something else. Beefy boy. I decided to build a new computer because I was hitting the limits of my old unit's capabilities. I did not have nearly enough processing power to be able to handle the kind of graphics and videos I like to display on broadcast.
I elected to go with the Intel i9-10980XE. It features 18 cores, which is the most number of cores in Intel's i9 suite lineup, and plays very well with the motherboard I picked out, which features seven PCIe slots. Those allow for video graphics card expansions, output cards, things that are very necessary for broadcasting. What's that? Ooh. We'll see how 11s can respond, but it's Pin bringing you back out towards his corner and we'll try to swing this one, but a good challenge Ooh. ensues. A booming clear, not able to get there in time. Thought for a minute, Open here comes the follow up. And there it is, Super. You saw before it even happened. Talking about that. RLCS is uh, called the Rocket League Championship Series. It's an international tournament that runs individual regions. This weekend happens to be the majors for the RLCS. They're running three different divisions this weekend. South America, Europe, and North America. Great control from Tander to slow that down at the last second and get that under flip to make sure he gets that angle down. He was coming in an upward. Every broadcast has the chance to be a dumpster fire. It's just a matter of learning how to adapt and be a better firefighter. It's often long hours, it's often very tiring, and there's often a lot of things that you'll work tirelessly on and it'll just never end up making its way to air. Behind the scenes, there's we got a production chat just moving, moving all the time to make sure they're delivering the best Rocket League to you guys. But at the end of the day, I want to put on a cool show, whatever that entails, whether it's running a Fortnite World Cup, a Super Bowl, or just a Twitch stream. <laughs> On behalf of all the casters here, all those guys behind the scenes making all this magic work. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon. It's a lot of fun to go in and to craft something and to have everyone look at it and just have a great time. Performing in motion capture is completely different than working like in film or TV. You have only your imagination to rely on. You don't get makeup, you don't get costumes. So you really have to delve into your pure imagination to create the world that you wanna create. But it's completely different than working in film and TV, but it's still acting. My name is Richard Dorton. I'm known as the mocap man. I usually tell people if you played a video game, you've probably killed me. I'm a motion capture actor and performer, producer and director. I started doing theater in DC. I did get a, a scholarship and I studied a little bit abroad at Balliol College in England. And then I also started studying stage combat. I was going down the route of being a stuntman. That's really what I wanted to do. I wanted to pursue my stunt career, so I decided I needed to go to California. My first audition, I just gotten a stunt agent I thought was gonna be at this famous motion capture place called House of Moves where they had just done stunts for Titanic. My first taste into to what I thought was gonna be a stunt world actually was for an audition for a video game. It was for Scooby-Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. <laughs> In the audition, you had to walk like Shaggy, act like a gorilla, be Frankenstein. You had to dance, you had to fall down, you had to run into a wall. I ended up booking the game and playing Shaggy and 60 other villains in the game. And that kind of just started my mocap career. Hey! I have here uh, some of the games that I've worked on, and there's some of my, you know, prized possessions. Like right here is Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2. And in the final sequence of that, you get to play Darth Vader. So I was one of the first people to ever motion capture Darth Vader in a video game. I played Wolverine and X-Men Legends. Silent Hill Homecoming, I got to play Pyramid Head and all the creatures in that. I also worked on the God of War series. But this has got to be one of my most prized possessions. This is from Left 4 Dead 2. I play all the boss zombies and all the hero characters in that. And I had all the artists sign this game after the game came out. So this is something I'm really, really proud of. Recently, one of the biggest projects I've been working on is Rogue Company with Hi-Res Studios. I started out being an actor, 
creating some of the characters like Dima. It's really funny to see him juggling grenades and then throwing them because I helped create that move. It's one of my favorite moments in the game. I also have expanded into the company and I now work on some of their character reveals. I help cast actors, I help create the, the emotes, the dance emotes, fidgets, idols, all the rogue reveals that you see. I get to work on that. So it's been an incredible journey going from a performer with them to also helping them direct and put the game together. We're here at Fonco Studios, home to a variety of other production companies, but also home here is the Noida Motion Capture Studio. We're gonna go inside, I'm gonna put on the Perception Neuron suit, and we're gonna give you a demo. Fonco is known for working with some incredible artists who work on top major uh, AAA title video games, major motion pictures, they're known for their miniatures, they're known for their special effects, and they're also known for their motion capture. We're here now at the Noidum motion capture stage. Now this is where all the magic happens. Here we go. I'm here in the performance space where James is gonna put me in the Perception Neuron motion capture suit. We're gonna take that motion capture data from Access Studio, move it over to the Unreal Engine, where we're gonna create a scene of a rampaging monster versus a robot. Left hand. Very well hand. So these straps will hold the sensors around the body, and the sensors have gyroscopes, magnetometer, and accelerometer to track and capture his motion data. My name is Rock Nakajima. I'm the president of Noidum International. Motion capture until a few years ago was a very, very elitist technology, costing like hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. Newer technology has come along with inertial suits. All of the technology is in the suit itself. With the Perception Neuron suit that I was wearing, the markers are now sensors. I can now shoot anywhere inside, outside, as long as I'm connected to the laptop. Now you don't need any cameras. And therefore, now you have a completely portable system. You're not locked into a location. You could go out in the field. You could go out on the mountain. You could go wherever you want with your laptop and start capturing. And you can do that literally in a few minutes. So you just put on the suit. You do a two-step calibration, which literally takes 10 seconds. And now you're capturing data. So we have the Perception Neuron Studio sensors that he's wearing. It's going to be going into the Axis Studio software. And then we're going to push that into Unreal to drive the Rampage character and the Crunch robot character to set up a monster fight. OK, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to focus on the two characters that I have to bring to life. Even though they're both giant characters, one's more organic, one's more robotic. So we want to make sure that I have uh, different movements for each one. Like for the Rampage character, he's more of a monster. He's more of a kaiju. He, you know, he's, he's very physical. He's just really wild. We're going to go with that, the name of Rampage, and we're just going to let him riff and just, you know, go crazy. And then let's go over to Crunch. He's now going to take care of this monster. I size him up. Oh, I know what to do with this. Get the weapons ready. Fire. All right, so I took your two performances and I put uh, one of your animations on the monster and then I put your other animation on the robot, adjusted them in space, tightened up the timing a little bit, and so now we can see your two characters fight. What's incredible about this too is it just shows that one person, you know, with this kind of suit can do their own kind of motion capture, you know? I mean, we weren't limited to a studio. This is a great space to work in, but, you know, if, if I only had space in my bedroom, I could do this in my bedroom. Traditionally, I'm a Mac guy, but during the pandemic, things had to change and I needed to work from home. A lot of this technology runs on PC. I wanted to work in a new way, so the MSI GE76 gave me the chance to do that. You know, it's portable and I can take it anywhere. I don't use it just for work, too. I can use it in my personal life. I can use it for email. I can watch videos on it. I can watch YouTube. And, you know, I do do my research. So it comes in really, really handy as a personal uh, computer as well as a professional laptop. To me, motion capture is pure imagination. That's what I get to do. I get to use my imagination. I get to use my creativity. And I've been very, very fortunate in this world. Being an, a half-Asian man, I was judged purely on my talent. 
It didn't matter what I looked like. It didn't matter my size. I was purely booking work on my talent. And that makes me feel really, really proud of, of, of myself and what I've done. It's been an incredible journey for me to say that I have made a motion capture career in 20 years and have worked on some of the top games, you know, in, in pop culture. It's a, it's a great honor. back i hope you enjoyed those long uh repeat of the transformer song transformers more than okay um anyway we are back and we are here building as you can see i've just been kept working while we were going through break um we are just trying to make sure that the uh, build gets done and you guys get to see stuff at the very end like the pc actually turn on so that is what's happening now let's talk about what we are putting inside of don's pc today uh so four parts that are going inside of this we've got the core i9 12900k uh we've got the motherboard is the msi m AG Z690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi, um, which is really great. A good thing with Z690 is you get Wi-Fi 6. You also get Bluetooth. Um, you get the latest Bluetooth, all that sort of stuff for graphics card. You got the MSI GeForce 3070 Gaming Trio Plus. You've got a one terabyte Intel S NVMe SSD, the 660p. You've got 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz G-Skill Triton Z RGB RAM. For your case, you've got the NZXT H7 Flow. For your cooler, you've got the MSI MAG Core Liquid C360, so a 360 millimeter AIO to cool that 12900K. And then we've got the Lee & Lee Uni AL120 RGB fans. Everybody loves those. And then finally, we've got an MSI MAG A1000G power supply. So um, it is, uh, still don't know what any of this stuff is, but it's beautiful. So Manella says, uh, doesn't know what it is, but the good thing about it is it's all stuff that makes the PC go fast. So it'll go zoom, zoom, uh, and play Genshin Impact at a bajillion frames per second, uh, which is all you really need and all that sort of stuff. So build is coming together just to give you an update in terms of where we are right now. So here we are. We got the uh, motherboard in. Um, basically, Dawn got the uh, the uh, CPU put in. She did all of that painting by herself. Uh, we've got the RAM in. We've got the uh, NVMe SSD in. And then now we've just installed the three... Uh, fans right there for you as well. So we've got those beautiful um, Lee and Lee AL120 fans. We're going to be putting one more, one more in the back, and then we're going to do uh, the other ones at the, uh, we're going to be installing the AIO at the top. Now, uh, rumor is, hold on, I think this is just in, um, is, uh, is Don ready? Are we ready to play some games, Don? What's going on? 
Not ready. Okay, never mind. I completely misheard what that was. Um, so yeah, let's talk about, let's go ahead and keep going with what we're going to do now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install the exhaust fan and go from there. And so I'm just opening this. Now, one of the things that's really cool about these particular fans is they actually snap together. So let me show you something pretty cool about these. And one of the reasons I really like using these fans on the show. So here, check this out. So here's a couple AL120 fans, and they come in this beautiful bubble wrap. But we'll pop this open. Now, we're only going to be using one in the back, but I just love showing this off because I think it blows people's minds. Um, and there's something that's unique right now to these fans. So you sit there and you're like, oh, I want to put two fans together. So you can see there's these little attachments on it. And check this out. Go like that. And then just slides together. And now you've got two fans instead of three. So it's a very, very easy way to... And then you, all you have to do to make sure that they work is you take one of these little things right there. This is the add-on. Just goes to the end just like that. And then... You've essentially, both your fans are wired together. There's only a single cable to manage, and then this plugs into um, your connector. And you can connect uh, into your box, and you can connect up to 16 of these onto a single box. So instead of having two cables per fan, you've got two cables per three or four fans, making it much easier to cable manage and look really good. Yeah, it's really, really cool and very, very nice uh, for setting up. So that's the fans. Very, very nice fans. Okay, now the rumor is that uh, she is available. Dawn, are you there? Hello. Okay, here she comes. Hello. Wait. Hi. Who are you? That I'm, is not Dawn. I'm Dawn. Stranger danger. That is not Dawn. I, that's not what you look like. <laughs> that is not what you look like 10 minutes ago. What is going on? No, I'm just kidding. We got her back. Um, you probably, you're feeling less headachy at this point in time. Look at you're drinking water. Eating, um, you know, yeah, are you having some of that? Uh, have you had any of the matcha hello, uh, the matcha hello pandas? I'm eating a vanilla one right now. Oh, so hello pandas, greatest gift on earth. Pretty much, it's like the mana. It's like mana. I'm telling you right now. Like if you want to regenerate, so I've had that. We had we uh, we have a, an incredible individual here on the set, Paul, who uh, you guys see chatting about Intel. He gets all the stuff, but he has been bringing us hello pandas, and uh, the hello pandas are so good. And so uh, I, I, you are lucky that I'm sharing them with you today, Don, because they are really for me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll let you jump into the game. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to build. Okay. But why don't you tell us a little bit about Genshin Impact and why? You liked the game so much, or Ooh. liked the game so much. So yes, uh, Genshin Impact is a an anime style MMO, uh, no RPG game. It is a gacha, but you technically don't need to gacha to enjoy the game. You can completely play it free to play. You just might not have every single character in the game. Uh, <laughs> I like the way that you clarified that. You don't need to gacha. But unless you spend at least $10,000, you're not having any fun. Well, that's not completely <laughs> true. <laughs> you can still have a good time without spending money. It just might not be as good of a time as people who do spend money. But, <laughs> you know, it's all, it's all uh, relative to, you know, what you, you decide is a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so have you spent money in the game? Just, just, just curiously. Uh, that smile says a whole lot. <gasps> No, <laughs> I'm free to play, surely. <laughs> I've never, ever spent money on the game. Nope, 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 no nope, purse. Nope, no money spent whatsoever. <laughs> they don't have your ATM card in the game already. No, surely it's not. It's a tax write-off, right? That's what you tell yourself every time you spend the money. <laughs> yes. I can write this off for taxes. <laughs> yes, but I wouldn't know because I've never spent money. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny right there. <laughs> I, I, I like how you're like, I wouldn't know. I have no idea how, how it works. I've never even used money. <laughs> I don't know what money is. That's right. It's a work expense. So what are you working on right now? Uh, so I'm doing my daily. Uh, okay. In Genshin, once a day, we get four little quests to do uh, that gives us a little bit of uh, AREXP. It gives us a little bit of rewards. Um, it also gives us a bit of uh, Primo Gems which is the currency we use to summon and get new characters. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I think you're, it's, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're, you're, uh, chat is like, he's clueless. I was like, yes, I am. I actually have never played. So <gasps> it's funny, before we actually played this game, this is the first time I've actually seen this game. Really? And we've had people play it on the show, um, but we didn't have the ability to actually see um, 
the gameplay. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing the game. Um, and so uh, it's funny because it reminds me of a game called Xenosaga. I don't know if you've ever played, if you've ever heard of the Xena Gears or Xenosaga game, but very similar art style to Xenosaga. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is my this is my first. Yes, I I can see. Yes, I know you're using emotes. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. All I see, people are saying, hey, he, he's not see the clueless emote. From what I see in chat is just the emote, what the word means. So it, for you guys, you guys might be using an emote that says clueless, but actually all I see is clueless. So I don't actually get to see the actual <laughs> stream. So all I just see is feels clueless, clueless, clueless. I'm like, wow. But I know it's obviously probably in a, an emote, but it's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> clueless, true cluelessness. True clue. I'm doubly clueless at this point in time. So, yeah, but yeah, they're like, oh, I hope he knows he's using an emote. I do, but I don't know what it means. So I just get to, uh, I get to uh, be completely confused and try and host through it. That's what it is. Time to go. Yeah, so uh, there are people in chat. Have you ever heard of a game called Xenosaga? I, I think I have heard of the series. I don't believe I've actually played it myself, but I have heard of. So um, there is, uh, you know, obviously you know Square Enix, and uh, mm -hmm. they had uh, in Final there Fantasy and stuff like that. So there was a game called Xenogears um, that was a mecha. It was an anime. It was actually an anime style uh, JRG, a JRPG game. Um, that then turned into Xenosaga and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then uh, the other one that this reminds me, this is a very, it feels like a very Bandai Namco game, uh, like uh, a bunch of different ones. So anyway, love the love the look of the game. Uh, but what gets you what got you into it? Like why why did you decide to play this over many of the other games that you're playing? Mm, so when Genshin first came out, I actually didn't plan to play Genshin because. I, well, I have played gadget games in the past, but I kind of judged it a little bit, like the book by its cover. I'm like, oh, it's a gadget game. It's not going to be that fun. It's just going to be like, blah, whatever. Um, until I actually played the game. And the most incredible thing about Genshin for me is the fact that it feels like a complete, like, full video game experience. But it's a mobile game, and it's a gacha. Um, you can explore, you can look for chests, you can you do mini games, you do puzzles. Uh, I'll show you the map. So this is the world. But when you first start out, you don't actually see all of this world. You need to explore it yourself and you need to open it up yourself. Right. So uh, I was so blown away about, you know, how unique of a game it was because I didn't Time expect something like this to be available as a mobile game and as a gacha. And I just, I just had so much fun, so I just kept playing it. Um, the characters, I believe, that I personally find the designs really good. Uh, the VAs did an amazing job voicing all of them. So uh, although, it's just a really, really great. It's, it's a, it's a. You feel like it's unlike what you kind of thought at the beginning, which is like this isn't going to be a whole experience. It ended up being a really whole experience with high polish um, throughout the entire experience. Right. It, it is a very well polished game, which is which is I which is I think why I was so drawn to it, um, and I just kept playing it, and playing it, and playing it, and now here I am. I am AR60, which is the maximum level you can have in the game, <laughs> um, and I have been playing it basically every well basically every day for the past year and a half. That's crazy. Okay, so what is I think this is a great time to take a second. What is your favorite game then? My favorite game of all time? Yes, your favorite game of all time. Putting you on the spot. Ooh, that's so hard because I, I play a lot of different types of games. If I were to say like a story-based game, uh, <laughs> actually, my favorite game is Nier Automata. Okay. I remember the first time yep. I played Nier Automata, it blew my mind away. I like couldn't do anything after finishing the game. I was just like so shook. Um, but it's not an easy game either. It's not, it definitely isn't. Um, but in terms of like an RPG type experience, I definitely will say Genshin is one of the best. Um, the combat is fluid. Uh, the, the designs are great. The, the graphics are amazing. Um, it's a really beautiful game. The music soundtracks are all just just so well put together. I go on and on about why I like Genshin so much. And, and like, 
what always amazes me is like, wow, this game you can play on your phone and like you can play on the go and it's like technically a mobile game. So when you fly back tonight, are you gonna play it on your phone? Does it can, does it play very well on a plane? Uh, on a plane? <laughs> um, well, it depends, I guess, how good your connection is and how strong of a device, phone device you have that you can maybe render all the graphics in. I personally do find it's best to be played on a PC, but I have played mobile Genshin many times. And I know a lot of people play Genshin purely mobile as well. So you're not gonna, this is not something you're gonna be grinding out while you're on your flight home tonight. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, <laughs> so one of the biggest jokes about Genshin is that there's no end, end game, true end game. Like there's right. no end to the game. Um, you could say that I've reached end game because most of my characters are, you know, like kind of finished their builds. Uh, I've reached the maximum AR level. Uh, there's really not much left for me to work on. Now I kind of play it by patch by patch. So each time a new patch is released, a new character gets released, and then I get excited and start building the new character. Uh, so there's not really anything left for me to grind, per se. OK, so you're done with this game. I'm not done with the We're game. We're just going to go ahead and delete it. Let's no, go. No, 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 no. New game. No, no. New game. We've, Whoa. We've just... OK, wait a minute. <laughs> That's what, surprise guys, that's what this was. This is an intervention on Dawn for playing Genshin Impact. We're now going to have you play something completely different. No, just kidding. <laughs> You're right, I do need an intervention for Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what, are, what are the things, like you talk, you, it's called, um, you know, gotcha in terms of what the game, um, you know, basically getting people to spend money. What are the things that people can spend money on? And then what do you get for free? Okay, so the things that are purchasable within the game um, are technically all obtainable free if you have the Primo Gems. So like what you spend money on is this currency, right? The, the paid currency. And you have these banners. Like for example, right now we have this Kazuha character banner, then we have a Klee banner, we have this weapon banner, and then we have a standard banner. This banner is always so around, but th this banner usually cycles uh, every, I think it's like every three to four months. Okay. And so that's what you spend your paid currency on. But you can also farm for this paid currency through opening chests, doing quests, doing content, just progressing through the game, playing it every day. But you obviously earn it a lot slower. Um, so you, if you're a free-to-play player, you do have to learn a little bit of self-control. You can't obviously pull like crazy on every banner because otherwise you probably won't get the characters you're looking for um, or you're just never going to be able to save enough to pull something you want. Okay. So mm -hmm. if you would, if somebody was going to free to play right. and get to the same place you are right now, how many years would that take? Uh, <laughs> I kind of feel like I asked you that question. If a bus leaves Seattle at two in the morning <laughs> and another bus leaves. <laughs> Dink G. Um, I would say that. Huh. That's a good question. So me, obviously, I'm a, I'm, you could argue I'm pay to win. Uh, but there is no way. <laughs> I like way how to... you put that in quotes. You argue that I'm pay to win. <laughs> but there's no way to actually pay to win because there's no competitive content. Okay. So, like, you're just paying to experience the game. Okay, got it. I would say it would take a free to play player maybe like half a year to a year to reach like the end point that I reached. So, like, maybe I reached that point half a year earlier than free to play players did in terms of like AR60, uh, the end. But the, I mean, like, if they wanted to grind out all the characters and have everything that you have right now, how long mm. would that take? So come on. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's a little unrealistic because I spent too much on the game. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, there's always new characters coming out. Like, you could just keep, you can't, you can't, um, oh, my resin's capped. You can't accommodate for all of it. Got it. Uh, there are some things that you do have to spend currency on for. Okay. So we, there is skins in the game. Okay. And these skins, you can only purchase with the the crystal top-up system, which is you have to spend money to get in. So, like, you have Primo Gens, which is, like, the free-to-play, but also, like, pay-to-play pay to currency. And then you have the actual, you have to pay to get this. If you pay, you can have this currency currency. That's called the Genesis Crystals. And you use those to buy outfits. Now, these outfits don't actually give you anything besides, like, looking really cool and drippy in-game. Uh, which is all you really need, let's be honest. Yeah, that's true, which is, which is, which is like, you know, the only important thing. <laughs> <laughs> They look cool, and that's that's but but obviously they don't make you actually make you any stronger. Right. They don't like buff you or anything like that. Okay, so it's in other words, it'll take you a really long time, and some of it you couldn't do free to play because you can't buy right those skins are something you cannot get as a free to play player. Okay, got it. 
And then, um, so the Genshin, I've, I've come to find out there's actually some really big streamers in the Genshin Impact universe right now. Um, and I've mentioned some of them, like Tectone and some of those. Have you collaborated with any of them? Have you done anything, played with any of those guys? Or like, what is the social aspect like for this game? Mm, I see. So sometimes Genshin will have events that are co-op based events. So that we once had this event called Wind Trace. It's kind of like a prop hunt. Um, uh, in Chinese, it's called Doma Mao. It's like hide and seek. And so what you do is you basically have one seeker and then three people, uh, multiplayer, they're hiding and you have to find them and they can like pretend that they're like a box, they can turn into like a lantern and you just have to look for them. Yeah, there's, I think there's a similar game in Call of Duty, right? Mm, I think so. Um, but it's, 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 uh, those, are, those are things you can do and collaborate with other people. Um, I've played a lot of, uh, I guess like I, I, I've played Wind Trace with uh, Dish. I don't know if you, yep. I think, oh, yes. I think I, she's, I she's actually, coming She's been on the show, yes. Yeah. Uh, she was a lot of fun. She's super cool. I love Dish. We love Dish in this household. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I played with Fob, Atsu, uh, Jake, and Ant, and there's like, like, like there's a lot of uh, potential social aspects in Genshin, but in terms of competitive aspects, it there there's, there isn't. There isn't. That's not really, really a core. Yeah. That's not a core tenant of the game. Right. Right. Okay. Got it. So that's cool. So you play with Dish. Dish is Dish is good people. We love Dish in this house too. <laughs> Um, what, so there's something that you said that was actually pretty funny when we, were, when we, when we first met and, uh, we were starting to get in, it was like, you said, I wouldn't lose myself to Final Fantasy. What is it? Like, what does that mean? Are you like, is it a game that you've been like tempted to play, but you don't want to play because you know, you'd like it? Like, no. So the reason why I joke about that is because all of my friends who with, have oh, gotten into Final it? Fantasy, uh, I, I don't think I've seen them in the last like four months. <laughs> I mean, I also, I have given it a try before. Okay. But the combat style isn't for me. Okay. What, I, is, I, it, what is it that you like about the Genshin style versus the Final Fantasy style, so to speak? Um, personally, I don't really like the, uh, the, the click to move type of mechanic that's in Final Fantasy. And also, like, the, the casting takes... Okay, I don't want the Final Fantasy people to come for me. All They're right? already coming. I, we this actually is have knocks my on opinion. The door. Don't this come is not, for there me. There are already knocks on the door right now. Like, they're out there ready to riot. <laughs> People are so mad. <laughs> there is over two people out there right now waiting to, to come get you. <laughs> um, I, I just, I don't really like the combat style of Final Fantasy. I don't like how you have to stand still to cast. Even though I played like World of Warcraft in the past, um, now that I've been become so accustomed to these fast paced type combat games, games like Final Fantasy, I don't have the patience for anymore. Got it. Um, but then I love Genshin because actually the Genshin's combat style is kind of reminiscent to Dragonist, which is a game I, I you might have remember I yep. talked about a little bit before. It's also this kind of like uh, RPG style battle. You dodge mechanics, you use skills type of thing. Um, and that this is like my favorite type of combat. So Got it. So mm -hmm. you're not like, you wouldn't go back to like, you wouldn't go play like Dragonlands and WoW either. Yeah, I don't think so. I I, I think I tr tried old school World of Warcraft at one point. Classic? Oh, yeah. That's what we're playing. And then like, I, was, I was like, wow, I can't believe I managed to have the patience for this so, <laughs> so long ago. Meanwhile, there's millions of World of Warcraft people now outside rioting because of what you just said. <gasps> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. It's like it's this definitely seems like a game that I don't need to play because then I will want all the cool characters. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for letting me live vicariously through you. There's a lot of cool characters on Genshin. Do you have like a preference of like character design you think is the coolest? Um, so it's funny because like all of these remind me. So I'm trying to think of the game um, and I can't. And it's it just they Let's just did a re-release of it. And Bandai cool. Namco has a whole series um, that uh, I that I like. And it's a JRPG series. That just that they just did a re-release and it's like the and I can't think of the name of it and I will remember it at some point in time. Mm -hmm. But I like a lot of the characters remind me of that specific Bandai Namco game series. Mm. And so it's like actually I like every single one of it. Again, growing up in Japan, a lot of a lot of um, Japanese uh, basically um, um, oh, what's the word I'm like influences in my life, right? So everything in this looks great. It does. It's a very beautiful game. So who's your favorite character? 
So my favorite character is Diona. She okay. is a healer support. She's a little cat girl. She also is a bartender. <laughs> what I like about Diona is because she is a calico cat, and I love calico cats. Um, but I also think she's a very intriguing and silly character. Uh, she hates alcohol, but she's a bartender, That's and her kind of and her goal is to make the most disgusting drink ever. But she got cursed by a fairy that made it so no matter what type of drink she makes, it'll be delicious. <laughs> wow. And that's, so. <laughs> that's quite a curse. <laughs> She's like punching the air, trying to make some nasty drinks for people to, to hate. But no matter what she makes, it's always delicious. <laughs> wow, that is. Uh, so, why? Like, did she make the fairy mad or something? Like, do we know why the fairy gave her that curse, or was that not, not in the backstory? Uh, so. Uh, I, th I think the reason why the fairy gave her the curse, so the reason why she doesn't like alcohol is because her dad is kind of like an alcoholic. Okay. And so because he was drinking alcohol, he probably wasn't spending very much time with her and there's negligence. Um, <laughs> I like how you've, like we've expanded this into like a real, like, and that's why she goes to therapy on Tuesdays and Fridays. And uh, I can't exactly remember perfectly the way the story goes, but I think the fairy came to her um, at some point when she was, I think like, I wasn't, I think she was praying in a pond or something. Uh, and then it blessed her, or I guess cursed her, with the ability to never make a nasty drink. That's hilarious. It still feels like, it still feels like kind of like a, I don't know if that was the best plan is like, I know what I'm going to do to get back at my dad. I'm going to become a bartender. You know what I mean? It's like, because it's like you won't work very long as a bartender if you make really gross drinks. Yeah. I'm saying like, I've tried that before. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. <laughs> You're terrible at your job. Keep me on, boss. I want to lose more customers. You know what I mean? Um, so do you know a little bit about like what's coming, like, you know, given as much as you play, um, mm -hmm. do you have any idea of like what's coming in Genshin Impact? Is there like big changes or oh, anything yes. like that? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So we are getting a new region in Genshin. Oh, so you, that's you probably saw, a much bigger deal, right? Yeah. So you saw that big world and you saw like all the space in the world. Yep. We're getting more to that world. Okay. And we're moving to the, we're planning on going to this new place called Sumeru. Um, it's uh, going to be this... So all of the regions in Genshin Impact are kind of like uh, inspired based on real world countries and cultures. Okay. So we have Mondstadt, which I believe is Germany. Okay. Um, we have Lire, which is China. And then we have uh, Inazuma, which is Japan. And then our new place, Sumeru, is supposed to be kind of based on the Middle East. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm really looking forward to it because it's supposed to be like really earthy. Um, Sumeru is supposed to like have the the most prestigious school in the world where all the like the smart scholars come from. Um, and we're also going to be learning a lot more about like the storyline. Uh, I'm looking forward to learning more about the Archon as well. And the music, the music. I, I, one, one of the things that I think that is really uh, fun for me is I like learning more about other cultures through Genshin. Okay. In a way, if that makes sense, because no, it does, it does. Because, because, like the regions are inspired based on these cultures, um, and in a way, you can kind of see, oh wow, so this must be a little bit like reminiscent of how this culture actually is, or maybe, maybe that's, or, or just inspired based off of it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel? Do you feel like? Do you know? I mean, like I'm just out of curiosity because you probably followed a whole lot better. Do they do a pretty good job of being accurate with the depictions of those car those those cultures? Like, are, does it feel like it's respectful or? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair, it's, fair, fair. Yes. So they don't always nail it. They and definitely th don't always nail it. Um, I think that it can be a little tricky to take from cultures as well, because right. obviously you don't want to only cater to stereotypes about a culture. Um, but I also think that Genshin does try its best to highlight more unique and beautiful parts about a culture. You just have to like see and appreciate what they've kind of taken from it. So how did you, how do you like, what, did, was it like a public announcement that said this new, these new regions coming out or did you like get to find out early because you're just, you've, you've spent millions of dollars in the game or? Uh, so Genshin has these live streams where okay. they kind of tease uh, the coming update. And then the last update, they actually teased what's coming next, next update. So oh. that's how we kind of started knowing. Oh, snap! We're getting Sumeru. We're going to the new region. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be so cool. And we have content again. 
And a region is going to be a lot of content. Right, a lot of content. Lots of exploring, new quests, new stories, new characters. It's it's a, it, usually when Genshin drops a new region, it's a really big deal. And is your bank account ready? Or like, are you prepared? Like if you... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> At least you're honest with yourself. I feel like, I feel like... I feel like there may be, uh, this might be just be part of the intervention, is just uh, getting you to, to, to admit that you have a problem. <laughs> I don't have a problem. <laughs> oh no, it's I not don't. working at all. <laughs> I'm in denial. <laughs> um, and so, uh, like, how often do they do, like, character updates and stuff like that? Is it pretty frequently, or? Uh, so usually, we usually get a region once every nine months. Okay. Oh, so it's not, it's, that's, it is a big deal then, yeah. It's a big deal. But uh, every update, usually we will get one or two new characters. When the new region drops, we get a lot more. Okay. Uh, so, for example, the most recent region that had came out was Inazuma. And so when Inazuma came out, they kept releasing new characters. But now that, like, Inazuma's been out for a while, um, they have started rerunning the characters that they previously released and then only, you know, releasing one new character at a time, just so, like, people aren't losing all their money. <laughs> so, like I said, you're preparing, they're, they know that you need to prepare your bank. Yes, they, okay. I, I'm, I'm sure they do. <laughs> they're like, we need people to be able to spend the money on this, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna take it away from the, we're not gonna take it away from the, the major thing that's coming out. Mm -hmm. So, when, when the region comes out, and it drops. Like, how does it work? Do you? Do you uh, everybody gets the region for free, and then you have to pay for the characters in the progression, or is it like? Is there other things that you? Oh, like their packs of equipment and skins. Like, what is it? Like, what does it look like from a from a like a release standpoint when mm. a region religion comes out? Re region comes out. So on release day, kind of like how Inaz when Inazuma first came out, when Zuma first comes out. We will probably have a quest that takes us to the new Let's region. Take a moment to rest so we'll probably follow this move. main quest uh, for a bit. Usually the quests in Genshin actually take quite some time. Uh, you can, it can take from like one hour to like three hours just to get through like one quest. Oh, wow. Okay. So those are quite long. Yep. But they're all voiced. Uh, sometimes they have fancy cutscenes. Uh, some, some of them are like much more interesting than others, obviously. But I think that the one that's going to take us to Sumeru will probably be quite interesting. Um... I'm assuming that when Sumeru is released, they're also going to release a lot of new characters. Um, and these new characters, obviously, you're going to have to pull for them, so you can't actually play them unless you've gotten them through the banners. Um, but if you've been saving and you've been, you know, skipping some previous banners so that you could get the ones you want, you might be able to get the character you want. Got it. Mm -hmm. And and, and, uh, do you, and you don't know enough about who the, char the new characters are yet to have one that you're looking forward to right now, or...? Um, so Genshin does this thing that we all called, call, we call it drip marketing. Okay. Uh, before an update drops, they will drip market, uh, they will, on their twitter, twitter, they'll post the design of the n coming characters. So Genshin has already posted the design of the next three coming characters from Sumeru. Uh, we have Tiganari, we have, uh, Kole, and we have, uh, like, D D Dol Dol I actually can't remember the name of the last one. D Dole D Dala, <laughs> but they're three new characters, and so you get to see the designs. You get to be like, oh, I like that design. Oh, I don't like that design. Oh, this one's really cool. And usually, that's how they start generating hype. So when the update actually drops, you you can also mentally prepare yourself to start saving for those characters. Got it. Got it. And so, do you have one that you are like you're saving for? Mm. <laughs> Every course of action has its risks. Let's just say all of them. <laughs> Let's just say that I love Genshin Impact. <laughs> She's like, I'm not saving for one. I'm buying out the whole mall. <laughs> and do you, do you feel like that's something that your audience just really enjoys is getting to kind of like see all the content through you, right? Mm. Like, cause you get to, they get to see it all, right? Like, because you have essentially everything, yeah. like, is there like, you know, essentially Genshin Impact Paper Doll Day where you're like, here, let's show, let's just go through this character and show all their stuff. And you know what I mean? Because people just get a, give a chance to kind of live vicariously through you. Yeah. So usually when new characters are dropped, um, 
uh, I even do this. I'll, uh, people will watch streams to see how this character plays, you know, what their skills look like, if they're like really comfortable to play, smooth to play, if they're really cool, uh, how, what team comps do they work on. And usually like the streamers are the guinea pigs for this. We, 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 we get this content, you guys give us the views, we play the character, you guys decide if you want to pull on it or not. Um, it's kind of like, you know, that's, that's the relationship <laughs> for new type of characters. That's pretty funny. And so you, so in, uh, on that day, that'll be a big day for you from a stream standpoint right. because a ton of people coming to check out yeah. all the different characters. Right. And also, everyone loves watching summons because uh, it's just like free dopamine. <laughs> you get to watch your streamer fail miserably and trying to get their character and pulling like a character like Chi Chi that they don't want. Or you can feel really jealous that the streamer just pulled like two five stars in a row and what the heck, you had to hit pity. Oh, that this never makes a whole lot more sense. Okay, so it actually is, so is it like loot crates? Mm, yeah, it's kind of like loot crates. You could compare it to loot crates. Okay, do you have, what is, so can you show me a summon or do you already have everybody so it doesn't make sense to summon? I give you one 10 pull. Give me one 10. Get, let's do it, guys. All right. Do and this costs $10,000 for this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to pull on the standard banner. I have 10 of the summons already, so okay. I will give my 10 summons for you. Thank you. Um, if it's purple, it's a four star. If it's gold, it's a five star. So we okay. want a five star. Okay. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull. Hopefully, you'll be good luck for me. Uh, we've had a lot of good luck on the show, so there Wait, is a really? good chance. Yes, we actually really have. Oh. Some people have accomplished some things on the show that they did not think was possible. So, well, I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, well, I want an Aquila Favonia, so pray that I get an Aquila Favonia. <laughs> okay, that's, if, you, if that happens, then we're, like, we've essentially pulled your dream. It's doomed. <laughs> Okay, well, that's, that's so far we're doing really good. Oh, wait, you know, you, that was not the right word. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so this is the character I got. It's official. I already have her at her maximum constellation, so I don't actually need any more of her. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so far, this is going really well. Hey, have another slingshot. Thank you. <laughs> have another harbinger of dawn. <laughs> Maybe we can get another four star in here. All these three-star weapons are usually kind of useless. Okay. Well, I'm feeling really good about what just happened. <laughs> at not, not at all. We what? got the debate club. Nope, dead. Okay, so there you go. That was terrible. <laughs> so we did not have good luck. And so way to go, Will. <laughs> it's pretty much Will's fault. We indeed did not get good luck, unfortunately, but that's okay. We got, we got a copy of Official, and so I like to copium this by saying, if I get a copy of a character I already have Max Constellation on, it's like a buy 10, get one free deal. Okay. So, like, <laughs> Genshin refunds you the pull, <laughs> the, the, that one singular pull, so I get one summon back worth of uh, currency. <laughs> so, buy, that's great. I'm glad you bought 10 and got one free. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, you you're know. Pretty, you're essentially just described Walmart. I take what I can get. <laughs> I like how you turned it into something positive. You're like, this is where we're going with this. This really terrible thing that just happened. Oh, Intel, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Pop raising. Was that Intel? <laughs> See, yes. the thing is, at least you got 10 pulls and you got 10 gifted subs. Oh, so, nice. Okay, maybe it was worth so if it. You keep, if you keep doing, if you keep, uh, if you keep summoning people, they'll keep giving you 10 subs. That's Heck what wait. Paul said. For real, for real? No. <laughs> Can I get a confirmation on that? <laughs> she's like, she's like, I got all sorts of them. <laughs> you're like, yes, no problem. So what is it you're doing? Are you still working on dailies right now? Uh, I'm actually doing a boss, a world boss. I'm fighting right in Shogun. Uh, if you, uh, you'll see soon, she's gonna turn. She's gonna face change and become like, like this huge, crazy-looking god. Um. But, she, I mean, she's still hot. Uh, I'm also getting my butt kicked by her right now. Let me ask you this. Yeah. How hard is the game? Uh, it depends what you define as difficult. Oh, God, I'm uh, definitely going to get Let's go with this. Dark Souls. How hard is this compared to Dark Souls? Dark Souls is definitely much more difficult. <laughs> I would say that there are still mechanics in the game, but there are ways around the mechanics, like just 
you know, you could just out heal them, or you could bring a character called Zhongli who has a giant shield. So even if you take damage, you don't actually take damage. Okay. How is this compared to like Barbie Horse Adventures? Oh, this is definitely harder than Barbie Horse Adventures, <laughs> I would argue. <laughs> so you're, oh, now, okay, now she's in God form. Right, she's in God form now, and she's probably gonna beat me up. You seem to be winning. I don't know. I, actually, isn't that your life down at the bottom? Uh, wait, what's, what's at the, my level's at the bottom. Oh. So this is a mechanic where you get one shot if you don't get this little bulb here. Otherwise, she kills you. Oh. You have to get the little bulb. And you need an Electro character to get it. If you don't have an Electro character, uh, then hope that you have enough skills to be able saved to survive up that. to get to, to proc the ball. So what happens if you die? Uh, you start over. They make you leave. This is this is the jump rope mechanic. Zaf says, "Hey, I spent ten hours on the last boss of Party Horse Adventures." <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 It's like the problem was is that like it was like he I don't know if he didn't really tell the story but essentially it was back when Blockbuster was alive and that was the only game that was still on the shelf at the time so he only got one free game rental and that was the only one he could get. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Apparently Blockbuster's coming back. Do you do you know? Really? Yes, they they have a Twitter and they said we're back. It was like wait what? <laughs> oh, that's 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 just what what are they are they gonna be like an online streaming service now? I don't I don't actually know. Like what if they like ended up like going to compete against Netflix? Like Whoa. which is what everybody told them to do at the first time. Like I have no idea. What is Blockbuster? Blockbuster so go to Blockbuster on Twitter and it says, Hey, we're back. And everybody's like, wait, with what? <laughs> like what are you back doing? They're back. Yeah, everybody says they're back. Everybody's like, no, they're not. Not going to lie, Barbie Horse Adventure was kind of hard and difficult to run. So, um, Intel, could you give me a 3060? <laughs> <laughs> That's NVIDIA, buddy. You're asking the wrong team. <laughs> wrong, wrong stream. Go to, go, to, go to NVIDIA. This is Intel. They make processors. Uh, and ARCs. You got to ask for ARCs. You can't ask for, you can't ask for, you can't ask for NVIDIA GPUs. <laughs> 360 for Barbie's Horse Adventure. There we go. Now we got some people asking for A750s and stuff like that. Okay, that's better. Paul, that, that Paul can take it. Yeah, people can take care of that. That was pretty funny. Somebody's like a 3060 for uh, for a Barbie Horse Adventure. It's a really tough game. Um, okay, so what other games are you looking forward to that are coming out? I know, I know. Right now, your life is all consumed by Genshin Impact. Mm. But is there any other games that you want to, that you're going to get into? Mm. I know not Final Fantasy and the crowd outside is riding and we're trying to get them dispersed, but um, like, is there anything <laughs> else that is on the playlist? So the company that makes Genshin Impact. Uh-oh. So no, basically Genshin Impact too. No, it's not. It's different. <laughs> this one, so they're creating a game called Honkai Star Rail. Okay. And it's going to be like um, a turn-based JRPG. Oh, okay. So, you ca have you ever played, like, Dragon Quest? Oh, of course. Of course. Um, yeah, it's yeah. kind of like that. Or, like, uh, Fire Emblem, kind of, as well? Yep, Fire Emblem. So I mean, it's, you, can argue, you can argue Final Fantasy 9, 10, yeah, 11, yeah, yeah. yeah, all those games. Right. It's, it's, uh, it's, that's the type of combat style. Okay. And that's a pretty patient-type game, though, mm -hmm. Don. It is. That's what you said you don't like. No, no, I don't mind pa I don't, okay. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> listen, it's different. <laughs> okay, okay, so, um, okay, so this game's coming out. When is it coming out? Do you know? Nope. The future. <laughs> I just know that, uh, I think they had is a few betas. Okay. I wasn't part of any of the betas, but I did get to watch uh, my fiance play the game. Okay. And it looks really cool. And I oh, looked, so I'm, he was in the, or uh, sorry, uh, they were in the beta? Yeah, they were in the beta. Okay. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed watching, watching it. And I, I've also played the Dragon Quest series. I've played Fire Emblem. I've played Final Fantasy X and X-2. So I, I'm very familiar with those style of games, and I do okay. enjoy them. Okay. And is, is it still, is it still... You're gonna have to pay, or is it like, is it like more standard? Like, this is the question. <laughs> Silly of you to assume that Hoyoverse would create a non gacha game. <laughs> yeah, Gatchas. exactly. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Yeah, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> no, I understand. Gacha is the future, though. Everything is Gacha now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gacha is the future. <laughs> I don't want to believe that. I don't want to believe that. I believe there's still freedom in the world. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> That's, that's, uh, that's, um, that's, there we go. Well, I mean, thanks for ruining my day right oh, there. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so it, so it will have, it will still have some of those, it will still, you expect it to be in, in that regard, similar to Genshin Impact in terms of the, the economic side. Mm -hmm. Busted. Oh, man. Boy. Somebody says, until it's considered gambling and banned for kids. I don't know. I, I, I just don't think that's going to. Man, this thing just... Now it's basically the way the regulations are going. Everybody's like, you deal with it. <laughs> it's essentially what the government's saying. So I think you'll be fine. I think we have nothing to worry about. Her addiction can continue un unchecked. Okay, so you, so that's one. Anything else that's on the on the, uh, on the the list based on games that you've seen that you might be interested in? You said you play some FPS games, like Apex, stuff like that. Yeah. Actually, this game just came out that I want to play. Uh, it's called Stray. I think you've probably heard of it. It's, it's supposed to be a game that you play as like a stray cat. Oh, yes, that's out. Yeah, stray. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 my friend played it, uh, okay. Mr. Fob, and I watched a little bit of his gameplay, and, but didn't want to spoil myself completely. But okay. that's definitely a game that I wanted to try out. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I know Trisha Hershberger was playing that today. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people. The funny thing about that game, and I'm not going to I'm not gonna spoil it for you, uh -huh. uh, but the cat part is only at the beginning. Oh! Betrayal! Yeah, no, I'm just giving you a heads up. That game is not, it's not really, it's not really about cats. Dang it! <laughs> Which, honestly, everybody then said, everybody else said, why didn't you just make it about cats? Because that was like the best part. So <laughs> you should check it out, but just understand the mechanics kind of diverge from that pretty quickly. I see. And then it's not about cats. But the cat stuff is so, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you anything about it. I just want... It, I feel like a lot of people are expecting it to go be a cat sim, and it's not a cat sim. Oh. So that's why I, I'm I'm more giving people a warning, you know, because I mean the game is still up. thirty bucks. Yeah, that's you know? true. It's not it, it's not a tall tale, Cole. Mm -hmm. Like if you've played through to the end, it's actually not a t it's not it's not actually about cats at all. Oh, interesting. It's about like okay, so it's not a cat sim. It's about saving a robot like it's there's there's oh. it's, you can become a, yeah it's not it's not it's more than that i see yeah, I, still, I still think i'd like it yeah it's i'm not trying to spoil <laughs> it i'm just saying it's not it's more than what it is i i just wanted to i don't if people are expecting it to be like what a lot of people have seen in the trailer it's more than that that's all i'm saying i see i see thank you for the heads up that's it <laughs> so people are like acting like I'm trying to ruin it. I'm like, no, I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to make you happy and make sure that you get this. And you're like, wait, what? I feel like I was bait and switched. <laughs> yes. Is there any games you're looking forward to? Uh, games that I'm looking forward to. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm actually, uh, uh, I am, I'm actually looking forward to. Obviously, I'm going to play uh, Wrath of the Lich King. So I'm a huge MMO fan, like you are. Mm. Uh, but I play a lot of like the more I play a lot of classic ones. I'm going to play Dragonlands. Uh, I'm really looking forward to. There's actually this um, this space uh, version of Tarkov that's coming out that actually looks pretty cool. Oh, like Escape, Escape from, from Tarkov. Tarkov? Yes, but there's a there's a there's like a sci-fi version um, that looks actually pretty cool. Um, and then um, I think otherwise. Oh, uh, out of uh, out of worlds two. So I play a lot of I play a lot of a lot of games, uh, but um, yes, it is not. Yes, it's more than the cat, but you do play as a cat the whole time. Yes, Cole, but I'm just saying, it's like the mechanics aren't just about, you know, spitting up hairballs and, <laughs> you know. Take it easy. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to a lot of just like, I, like I play everything. I really do try to play everything. I'm really looking forward to the new Hearthstone uh, expansion. Mm. Um, so I'm a big Hearthstone player. I've been playing some of TFT, um, uh, Dragonlands, uh, sorry, Dragon, yeah, Dragonlands there. And so, yeah, I play a lot of different games. Not any league though. But, uh, good. Although <laughs> good. you said TFT, and so now I'm judging you. Oh, really? You're not yeah. a TFT fan? I have a personal vendetta against TFT. You have a personal vendetta? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> so my fiance Slice, he's very addicted to TFT. Wait, so your vendetta is because of of, of his <laughs> his gameplay? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> right. He, you sound like my wife. <laughs> She it's had the vendetta against WoW for a long time. <laughs> I can see why. It's understandable. She was like, 
when I back when I was like a really hardcore raider, she's like, I now am want to find the devs and I want to murder them. I'm like, whoa, honey, let's not go that far. Okay, so so in other words, your vendetta is just because he, he spends a lot of time playing the game. Well, it, but it's, meanwhile, it's... he doesn't look at the bank account and see what you spent on Genshin. Impact. Okay, listen, he plays Genshin too. He spends more than I do on Genshin. <laughs> But uh, my vendetta is because uh, he'll start playing a new TFT set, and then I'll see him the next month. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily that does that's still that's still a nice space, right? Because the set is out for a while. No, <laughs> <laughs> she's like she's laughing. Actually, we had Christine. It was, it was uh, no, it, who was on the show? Just we had TFT Pro. Just a couple. Emily Wang. Sorry, yes, we just had Emily Wang on the show. Uh, just a couple, was it? Oh, man, there's been so many shows. Three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Has it really been that long? <laughs> so three weeks ago, so she was on the show. She was, um, she was, she's a, she's a hero of mine because I watched, I literally watched her play in the, um, in the tournament and then like she was here on the show and I was like, I was fan, I was fanboying mm. a little bit. I was like, oh, snap. Uh, but uh, please don't hurt them um, because I like that game too. So um, <laughs> just take one for the team and the rest of us so we can still play our TFT. Okay, Don? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll consider it. <laughs> Dang, we're screwed. <laughs> so what else is what else is on the agenda for tonight for gameplay for uh, for Genshin Impact? Mm, depends how much time we have. Uh, we have seven hours. Just kidding. No, I know that's not true. She's like panicked there for a minute. No, I got to catch a flight. Um, no, uh, we're actually doing pretty good. I'd say we're probably at about an hour left. So mm -hmm. what do we got? What, what do we have anything that could take an hour? Yeah, I do. Okay, what what would that be? So. The only quote-unquote challenge in Genshin is the Spiral Abyss. Oh, what's that? That sounds cool. Mm -hmm. It's like a... So what you do is that there is a series of floors. There's a total of 12 floors. And you need to take your team. You need to create two teams of four characters each. So a total of eight characters. And you need to challenge all of the floors. And you try to get as far as you can. If you can complete the entire Spiral Abyss, you get rewards like Primogens and Artifacts. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it's like, and so it takes a long time. And then, so you have to play through all of the floors and then see how far you can go. Right. So, uh, the first eight floors, if you've already completed them, you don't have to keep doing them. Okay. Uh, nine, 10, 11, 12 are the ones that reset every, I think it's like every two, three weeks. And sometimes they change the mobs that are inside it. Sometimes they make it, actually they've been making it harder and harder each time, essentially. Uh, because of power creep and stuff, but um, besides that, <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's just like it's a it's a way to challenge yourself and and enjoy beating up monsters with your powerful characters. <laughs> Got it. Okay, and so that and so these these can take. So this is like some of the longer play, co longer tail content in the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna help me pick my team? I had no idea. I feel like this is a scapegoat. I feel like you're just setting me up for failure because I'll be like, I don't know who any of these people mm. are. Okay. I would just choose them based on looks. Okay. How about I'll let you choose two characters and I'll be and I'll build two teams around them. But I'll play okay. that character. Okay. Let me take a look at this. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm digging. Well, I mean, like, how do I call them out? <laughs> you can uh, tell I'm me. I'm gonna what... come over and point at them. Hold okay. On. I'll okay. be right back. I'm gonna go point All at right. them. <laughs> Okay, because this I feel like if I'm going to describe this, well, this will take like an hour just for me to pick. The person. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll let you look so at that them. That one looks. I like. I like that one. You like this one? Yeah. Do you want me to choose this one? I guess. Yeah. Sure. This is Heijo. He's the newest character that came out. Okay. Cool. Yeah. He, okay. he seems new. Okay. Um. Yeah. So um, we'll and choose him for one. I also. I also like this one too. But scroll down. I haven't. I haven't yeah. Looked yeah. At there's all a. Them. There's a lot more. Oh yeah. There's a lot more. Oh, that's cool. This one. Yeah. She's like a mage. Yeah. She's cool. Mm-hmm. Um. And then. That one's cool. That looks like Lisa from Robotech. Her name is literally Lisa. Oh, that literally looks like Lisa from Robotech. Or from Macross, whichever one you're... Let's do... Yeah, let's do Lisa because I love her from Robotech. Okay, Lisa. Yeah, we'll do Lisa and then we'll do uh, the other one at the top. The, and Heijo? And Heijo, yeah. All right. Did I do okay? <laughs> no, you're screwed. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. I, um, I, I believe in myself. Now I have to go buy this game just to have Lisa <laughs> from Robotech. All right, how should I build a team around Lisa? <laughs> oh boy, I don't think I've ever used my Lisa. <laughs> this is I'm gonna roll up my sleeves for this one. I like it. I like it. I've, I've given you a challenge. Yes. You're like, that's a word we could use. 
<laughs> a, a challenge is one way to put it. <laughs> is Lisa not good? I'm well, just out of curiosity. She's not good. Conventional. What's and, not conventional about her? Um, her gameplay style is a little bit clunky. She's a bit outdated in terms of like power now because she's one of the <laughs> and earliest she's characters. Free. <laughs> <laughs> Get you to free game. Um, also, my Lisa isn't actually like exceptionally built, so I'm gonna have a great time trying my best with this one. <laughs> oh no! But it's okay. It's all, I did all good. good fun. Well, it's all it's all it's all a good challenge. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna enjoy the experience that you're about to go through. <laughs> Thank you for taking one for the team. You're welcome. You just said she's like that's the thing. It's like I have no idea. Like, is there a way? Like, was there like a like a archetype or something like that in the class? Or when I looked at it, or it seems like you wow, like look mages. at all the stuff that you have. Yeah, these are artifacts. These are like the the equipment that you put on them. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, and you paid for every single one of those. No, well, you can farm <laughs> for them. I didn't pay for them all, but you, you get them through spending time Got farming. It. Got it. Oh, gosh. My talents are so low level. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I'm really glad I did this for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> she keeps telling herself, this is going to be great. This is going to be fine. We'll play Electro Charge. So, Electro... Let's so, get ourselves Genshin's really cool things. because... Characters have elements, and then the elements can interact with each other. Okay. So electricity and water makes electro charge, which kind of like is an AOE zap between the enemies. Uh, you can vaporize with using water and fire, which is like an additional big damage boom. Uh, there's like a bunch of different types of, uh, what's the word? Uh, interactions you can do between different, different attributes. God, why is English so hard? <laughs> I don't know. My wife is an English teacher, and she she even says that. <laughs> Take heart. Victory will be ours. Oh. Okay, good. Oh, phew. I wasn't getting nervous there for a second, but everything's fine. On the PC front, everything is good. We're putting in... We're actually, like, tearing through this, actually. So, hmm. Which is good. In a good, good way. Not in a bad way. I'm not tearing through it in a bad way. Like, the PC <laughs> will work like I promised. That's good to know. <laughs> All right, well, how should I play Hazel? Hmm, Finch. I don't know. Okay, so is the second character, you said it's the newest character. Right, Did he's I the newest character. okay better with that choice than the first? Uh, oh. So he is a newer character, so he definitely is, uh, I guess, a little bit more tailored. Um, and I guess should be easier for me to build. The issue is that I actually haven't spent that much time building mine. So um, this will also still be a little bit of like a challenge for me. Uh, Genshin is, is, is more than just like throwing artifacts on characters. You also need to do a little bit of your own theory crafting in your head, like what characters work well together, what skills might uh, complement other skills. Um, and I'm, I'm not exactly the perfect expert at that because I like playing like one character and then just having that one character carry me through everything. But it, but it is fun for me to challenge myself every once in a while with, with characters I don't usually play. With some random guy coming in and being like, play these ones, thanks. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll try. I'll try. It's going to be great. <laughs> was that Lisa saying that? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. That, that was, was pretty a... funny. She's like, wait, you really want to play me? <laughs> <laughs> that was Shinobu. Hmm. So this is actually, you're going to have to, like, there's there's some, there's going to be, we're going to see focus dawn here in a minute. Really? Oh, I'm, I'm going to highlight? Oh, no, now I have to, now I have to perform. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm not used to having to perform under pressure. You're like in esports. Like, little do you know, you're going to get picked up by 100 thieves after this. You're going to be first. You're, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be joining an org. It's going to be amazing for Genshin you. Genshin esports. I'd love to see that. I'm pretty sure Genshin would, too. <laughs> They're like, we didn't know we could make this game competitive. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to think how I want to play Heijo. Hmm. I think you want to play them with the controller. With the controller? No, I play mouse and keyboard. But you, you can want... play with the controller. You can play with them. We can play with your phone, too. Oh, yeah. And you, and you can play with your phone. You can play it on uh, the PS pl PlayStation as well. Oh, really? It's on PS? Oh, it's on the PlayStation? Yeah, it's on the PlayStation as well. Not on Xbox yet, though, huh? I don't actually know. <laughs> I'm danky. I, I'm uh, brain farting. I, I don't know what to put in my team right now. Uh, here we go. This, this, this can never go wrong. 
Chivalry will never die. Why why not? Because that person's just OP? Yeah, he's like everyone considers him like the most broken four star character. With a name like Pearl Cage. Oh no, that's the that's the oh, gear. Yeah, What's yeah, that's, the name of the character? Uh Xing Cho. So if I buy the game, I should buy him. He's pretty easy to get, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would say that that's a pretty fair statement to make. And then you can just grind for the rest of your life to try and get the rest of the stuff using him, just him. <laughs> well, he's, he's a really good support, though, so that's why he's really great. It's because he's such a strong unit to have on a team as a supportive character. Okay. Mm, you're learning good. about Genshin. Am I convincing you to try the game out? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm a, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> I, I, actually, I don't know. I, I have no idea where I like I, where I am on this game. I mean, it's just like my experience. Dish, I think I'm trying to remember. Did Dish play this? I think Dish did, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I think she might have played, but I, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, no, I. I uh, it's not one of those. It's just one of those things that's like I know the game is. Uh, I know the game is can be quite dangerous for people who uh, who are going to um, not want to spend who who like to spend money on games, and I do like to spend money on games, so that could be dangerous. That's a very fair statement. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> so it's like it's like do I want to do I want to add this? You know, would my wife be okay with this, or do we want a vendetta against this company as well? <laughs> This hooking up your cooler now. That's all done. Making sure you're. I got still got to build a PC while I watch your your gameplay. Mm, okay. Feels kind of important, you know. <laughs> you guys do. You're like, yeah, that's your job, Roby. She's here to entertain with the gameplay and spend 20k, and you're supposed to build a PC. <laughs> I haven't spent that much. <laughs> I don't. You know, it's. I. I actually don't think. I mean, I know there are people who spend that much money. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think most people spend that much money. Most people, yes. Yes, most people. <laughs> I was being, I mean, there's, there are definitely whales, right? Like, mm -hmm. as a game developer, well aware of that term and who those people are who, like, literally spend for the rest of, like, you're like, yeah, we made all this money off of, like, 10% of the population. Or actually less than that, 2%, but still. So you're still, are you still putting your character team together? Yeah, I'm putting, I'm going to enter the domain now. I finished putting the artifacts and gear on them. Now I'm ready to... To, to brace the uh, the challenge. Okay, predic prediction time. <laughs> we can do a prediction, right? <gasps> yeah, but the early floors are really easy. Usually it's floor 12, that's the actual challenge. That yeah, no, but the I... question is, is like, do, will you get to floor 12? Yeah, okay. I believe I can get to floor 12. But can, oh, the question is, will you finish floor 12? That's the question. Yeah, yeah, that's the question. Will I, will I, will I, uh, will I three, will I nine star floor 12? Okay, so prediction, we'll put it, we'll put it in my Twitch chat. I don't know, it'll be up to you guys if you guys want to put it in your Twitch chat. <laughs> will she, prediction time, will she nine star floor 12? That's up, it's going into my Twitch chat. You're going to cost people channel points. Oh, no! Chad, believe in me. Even though I don't know how to play Lisa, believe in me. It can't be that hard, right? <laughs> we we made it challenging with Lisa. <gasps> what happened? What was that? That was an interaction that shouldn't happen. I don't even know what that means. It took like half my HP bar. So you're gonna cost you're gonna cost a lot of people channel points. No, 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 no. I'll be fine. But that was that was just really surprising. I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, we're we're getting the we're getting the predictions up. I don't know if if somebody in your chat wants to get the prediction up, but our our we're getting it up on the tw on Roby Tech Twitch. We gotta have a lasting impact here. So the interaction, what is an interaction? Uh, what do you mean by interaction? You said that was an interaction. Oh, uh, I got frozen mid air and then I got launched into the air into the sky, which was very unfortunate because. Because then I took fell, fall damage because I was so ha uh, far oh. into the sky, which took half my HP bar. That's why I was like, what the heck? I didn't even know that could happen. And this is what floor are we on right now? <laughs> Eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, no, nine. Sorry, nine. Rain outlines your face. Huh? Let's light it up. But this one's not the most challenging. No, this is supposed to be the easiest so far. I'm doing great. I'm do I have lots of time. I should be able to get through this, no problem. Okay. Good, because people are putting votes in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, will she nine star floor twelve is the question. Is the is the is the prediction. 
Put your channel points where your mouth is. We're all about we're all about spinning needlessly here on on Mod Workshop today. <laughs> we're throwing caution to the wind. We're gambling with we're gambling fools. We're gambling the gambling game. We're gambling the gambling game. <laughs> What we're working on right now, and I'm having struggles here with this zip tie. There we go. Okay. Do you do a lot of predictions in your channel? Like when people like when you do stuff like this, do you ever do any, use it in the prediction stuff? Yeah, we do. We do. We do do predictions. Uh, in Genshin, we sometimes uh, will do predictions like for gacha stuff, like will I get the character I want or will I fail miserably? And then everyone loses their points because they believe in me, but usually I, I fail miserably. Yeah, they believe in you versus the RNG wizard. Right, right, right. Which is a cruel temptress. It's a, it's a cruel world, yes. For sure. So your, your fiance also plays the game? Yeah, he does. And then, uh, so did you guys meet playing Genshin Impact? Because that would be a pretty cool story. Uh, we met playing through Twitch, but we both played Genshin Impact, so I guess you could say we met through Genshin. And then are you guys going to get married in Genshin? <laughs> Should we? <laughs> I think it would be pretty funny. <laughs> I, know, I actually met people who got married in Final Fantasy XI. Oh, that's so wholesome. And they, they like, I remember Final Fantasy XI, like, you can actually plan a whole wedding. And everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like a, like like you have wedding planners and like there's a, you can like rent venues and have people attend and Wow. Yeah. Saying Genshin Impact, there's some more money you can make there. So does he does he play as much as you do? Oh, he plays more than I do. Oh, okay. So he makes he makes guides on Genshin. So he does all like the big brain stuff, like the theory crafting, the the teaching you how to play a character, how do you build a character, and so in order to make guides, you obviously need the character, and you need you know to ex have the full character experience. So not only does he play more than me, he spends more than me. Right. And so he, and his excuse is, well, I got to make a guide. Yeah, it's for content. There you go. So he does, I'm assuming he does YouTube and YouTube as well. Right, he does YouTube as well. That's pretty cool. You guys, like, you guys are like the modern day streamer family right there. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I will have order. So, but right now things are going well. Game, game's going well. Oh yeah, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm, ch oh, I'm chilling. I have plenty of time. Oh. <laughs> that was because I thought she was dead, but she wasn't. I, I uh, underestimated my damage. So, uh, all right, and then the, 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 on each floor is different enemy types and all that sort of stuff. Right, as well, there's right? different enemies. Sometimes there's different strategies uh, to clearing the floor. Uh, sometimes it's just unga bunga smash and you just try to kill it as fast as you can. Usually that's the case, you just unga bunga smash it. But there are like combos, you can use your characters uh, in a certain way. Uh, it's important to use XYZ skill before like the other skill. But yes, we're, we're just zooming through it so far. So non-believers, <laughs> I'm coming for you. You're like, you're like, your time is limited. Those of you who thought that I couldn't do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. okay. I might swap my team a little bit, but I will keep what? the two what? characters that you told oh, me to keep. Oh, I see what it is. So now, so like, and then you, I, I guess you have the chance to do that in between floors. Is that what happens? Or? Right. Because some of the enemies, for example, this enemy, he has a big and he has a huge electro shield. So I need to use different uh, attributes to break that shield. And usually, it's easiest to be broken with fire. Okay. Uh, so. So they give you a chance to. You're like, oh, you can't. You, like, in case you did poorly. <laughs> like I did. They give you a chance to redeem yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, from the nightmare that is Lisa. <laughs> it's just so funny that like she looks just like the character from Macross, and then literally her name is the same as the character from Macross. So interesting. I didn't even know there was a character called Lisa. Lisa well, I mean, like they're Lisa. part of it's the the love triangle between Menmay and Menmay and um, Rick Hunter and mm. uh, Lisa, and the three of them, like that, that's the whole thing that happens in the first season is about their relationship. Oh, interesting. And so she's commander, and then Menmay is the, C I don't know if you've ever watched Macross at all, but. Uh, no, I, I I'm actually not very familiar with uh, Robotech and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Hence the Robotech, 
robot. Oh. Thing. But even though it was my last bit originally, ah. but then we had to change our logos and stuff because then I got big and I was like, okay, I'm going to get sued. So. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. Makes sense, makes sense. We like, don't okay. want to be sued in this house. No, no. And uh, Harmony Gold is, uh, they're, they're not afraid of, uh, they're, they're, they're quite oh. protective of their stuff, so. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Pandorian Gray. A lot of people are like, Harmony Gold's coming. Exactly. <laughs> so back then, it's like, now it makes fine. It's well outside of the thing. But like originally, my logo looked like the Robotech logo. Even. Oh, it was all I of, see. All, I was all in. You're playing with fire there. I was, but I never thought, you know, hey, it's like, oh, I, I never thought I'd get to, you know, 270,000 on YouTube. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. like, oh, wow, this actually worked. <laughs> That's the amazing thing about content creation is like when you really I remember when I first went into it, I didn't ever think I'd get very far to be, to exactly. be perfectly honest. And then you are and you're like, okay, wow. Uh, and that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, you're like, okay. As long as you're humble about it, and you seem really humble about it, you seem mm -hmm. super chill. <laughs> so, you know, but the good thing is, is you're, you're using all the money you make to buy stuff from Genshin, which is great. <laughs> yes, I'm uh, stimulating the economy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, that's, that's what you tell yourself. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Robotech was my first anime, yeah. Aww. Well, you guys are reliving it right now with Lisa. Glaze over. <clears throat> uh, so, Don, you want to tell me a little about Piero? Oh! <laughs> Piero is uh, was something in the chat about Piero? Yeah. What's, what's the deal with Piero? Uh, so, so on Genshin, uh, we have these bad guys. But okay. they're like, we don't actually know if they're bad guys or not. You know, it's, it, they're bad guys. <laughs> and so we, they recently released the designs for these bad guys. They're called the Harbingers. 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 Harbingers, yeah. Harbingers. Um, and the, the big, the, the, <laughs> the big daddy, <laughs> his name is Piero. <laughs> and uh, I think he looks like a great looking character. <laughs> What, 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 like, what does that mean? <laughs> he's, 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 he's a good-looking character. That's what it means. He, in other words, he's easy on the eyes kind of good-looking character? You know, he's, a, he's an older character. He's got a beard. He's, he's a good-looking character. <laughs> I like how Jason King put it in, in chat. I think I got it now. Okay, I'm clear. I think I got it. <sighs> thank, you, thank you, Jason, for clearing that up. <laughs> Jason is the hero today. <laughs> Okay, uh, we are getting, I'm just gonna, look up, I'm gonna figure out where your RGB adapt. Oh, there it is, right there, perfect. Oh, I need that. <sighs> so, now that you, like, when you said you have to, like, wait for patches, uh, does that mean that this is not normally in your rotation, or does it, or, like, do you stream other games besides this while, while we are waiting for new patches in the game? Yeah, usually when I don't have content on Genshin, I'll play other games like also Hoyoverse game Ho Honkai Impact. <laughs> I d I don't escape Gacha hell. I just I'm just stuck here. I just <laughs> something about Gacha games, man. They, it's it's the dopamine, <laughs> and I can't escape them. I think it's well. I mean, flat out, that's what they're that's what they're counting on. I mean, that's the psychology behind it, right? <laughs> yeah, but um, I play I play uh. I guess I, I like playing other games when Genshin is kind of like in more dry zones of content. Um, mostly because I can't, like there's only so much you can do, right? Uh, and they also do put walls behind, con like time time gates behind content. Otherwise you'd, you'd run through everything and like that wouldn't make any sense. You oh, know? so it's, in other words, it's time, it's, there's some time gates. Right. Okay, that makes a certain amount of sense, oh. right? Because they want you to come back, and if you got through everything quickly, and then there's no reason, like then you, they, then they, then they can't put the new stuff in front of you. Right, exactly. You know that whole economics thing. So are we still? What floor are we on now? Uh, we're on ten three. Okay, ten three, and there's right. twelve. Right, it goes to twelve. Okay. So in terms of time, how what, what do you think timeline-wise? Time. Uh, I probably need like 20 more minutes to finish everything, okay. depending uh, how fast I am. That tells me how fast I got to get going here. I'm over here learning so much about Genshin Impact, downloading my characters. Okay. So what are some uh, what are some uh, some things coming up in your future? 
I mean, you talked a little bit about PAX, but are there other like exciting things like anniversaries or ah. anything like that that's coming up soon for you? Like what is the, if people are gonna tune into you for like, let's say the next three to six months, what kind of stuff? I mean, obviously playing the new Genshin content, mm -hmm. but like, is there other other cool things that you people have to look forward to? Uh, well, there will definitely be more cosplay streams oh, with the wow, new Genshin okay. characters coming. Um, I do plan on cosplaying certain new characters that may be coming out. Secret? <laughs> Secret? Secret. Mm. <sighs> I guess, like, in terms of, like, fancy stream ideas, I don't really know if I have anything fancy planned. Okay. But I could, potentially. <laughs> if, if persuaded. If persuaded, yes. Yeah, there could be, there could be some, new, some new stuff on the horizon. Mm -hmm. um, what is, like, so uh, when you think about, like, what you would like to do, like, if you think about your future as a streamer or whatever it is, like, what is the next three to five years look like for you? Mm, that's the crazy thing about content because it is such a volatile field. Um, and, and I'm sure you can relate to this is that, like, some months are better than others, but there's no true job security. You know, yep. we're not getting paid paycheck by paycheck. We're being paid based on, you know, how successful our content really does that month. And so whenever I think of like my five, 10 year plan, um, I definitely am like, I sit there and I'm like, huh, that's a, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> um, I, d I think that as long as Genshin is still around, I'll definitely still be playing Genshin. Okay. But perhaps maybe Genshin is not as popular anymore, but I do know that I'll be sticking to these anime-based uh, RPG type games because those are my favorite. Um, I like MMORPGs and I probably will continue playing MMORPGs. Right. Um, I don't see myself as like a very great FPS player, nor do I really want to be. Um, so I'm, I'm like, I'm content with not playing FPS games. You're happy where things are. And it, as long as, and you, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't change your strategy to accommodate better viewership. Like you're like, I'm in to play what I want to play. Mm. And that that's what's important to me. Yeah. I, so something I really stand by is that if you're not, if you yourself aren't having a good time on stream, uh, you're not going to have a good stream. And people are going to be able to tell. And it's not going to be an entertaining stream. It's not going to be a fun stream. You're, it's just not going to be a good stream. So first and foremost, you really have to be interested in what you're doing. Uh, you need to be having a good time. And... So while some people might be easier to force themselves into having a good time, uh, I think that if you can, if you're genuinely showing yourself enthusiasm, yeah. enthusiasm right to whatever you're playing, people will be able to tell. Okay, I mm -hmm. got it. And then, and then, like from like where you're from, which is Fontaine, right? Like, is that just like something that's from the planet that you started with before you came to Earth and started hanging out with us? I'm from Fontaine. That's what I was told. I heard that you used to joke that you. We're from the planet Fontaine. Planet Fontaine? Fontaine is a region in Genshin. That's what I was told. <laughs> I didn't come from Fontaine. Who, who said that? Huh? Somebody in my ear said it, and I was led astray. Hmm. It's Paul. Sussy. Sussy. Way to go, Paul. Paul said that you're from Fontaine. I was like, what? <laughs> Screw you, Paul. <laughs> False information. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best right there. We, we still love you, Paul, because you get us Hello Kitty. I mean, Hello Panda. So it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Paul never lucky, always bullied. <laughs> He's always bullied. No, Paul's awesome. Um, okay, so um, what? How did you get into streaming, though? Like, I mean, was it like something that you like when you like? Is that what you were gonna your plan? Mm. What is the journey? The psycho origin you? story. Yes. What is it? So I graduated with a degree in pharmaceutical, sorry, pharmaceutical sciences. Wow, that is not what you're doing right now. No, it's not. I was supposed to make drugs, but here I am. <laughs> <laughs> not making drugs. <laughs> um, so I started kind of dabbling into streaming in college. It was just more so for fun. I was a very small little uh, streamer. I had like, you know, 20 viewers on a good day. Um, okay. And then I and I stopped streaming to focus more on school, and also I got busy. Uh, but I started streaming again when COVID hit. Okay. And it was mostly because when COVID hit, I couldn't really get a job into the field that I didn't, like wanted okay. to get into, and so I was kind of a sitting duck. But I, but I, I hate the idea of like like being unproductive. So the least I could do is, well, I'm playing games all day at home. Might as well stream the games that I'm playing all day. 
And Makes so a lot streaming. of sense, it does. Yeah, and I started yeah. streaming. Uh, and I guess it, it kind of just started working out for me since when I started streaming around that time, uh, Genshin also started coming out and Genshin was blowing up as a game. Uh, I also cosplayed while streaming at that time, which I think was a little bit more of like a unique niche that I somehow managed to fit into, right. which allowed me to grow my channel. Okay. Um, now I don't actually cosplay as often on stream, but I still do like occasionally. By the way, just so you know, Don Dish yeah. is in the chat. Who? Dish. Dish! I love you, Miss Dish! <laughs> Welcome! Yeah, we, we here also love Dish. Dish is awesome. Dish, it's so good to dish a uh, mod mod workshop mod workshop um what is it what are we like a alumni that's thank you very much alumni. i was like mm. yeah mod workshop alumni uh, owner of a mod workshop pc um Ooh. and so uh hanging out with us uh watching watching uh, her girl um dawn own it just like she did which is cool um yeah sensei so to speak sensei mm -hmm. yeah sensei so to speak uh, how's she doing dish she doing pretty good I'm doing my abyss dish. <laughs> I have to use Lisa. It's Omega Copia, but I'm doing my best. She let me choose the she let me choose the character's dish. She she fell for my trap. Which is actually pretty awesome. Oh, I have a lot of. She recharge. says you're doing great though. Aw, thank you. <laughs> but with thank it. You, dish. But luckily, I, she didn't end it with the clueless emoji that I was like plagued with earlier. So there you go. <laughs> Okay, so you so that's what you so you started with you started with COVID is really kind of when it started to take off, and right. then you found a niche, a niche, sorry, that um, was able to like help your channel grow, and uh, so right now you're just really enjoying the experience. But you're realistic about what this could mean, and kind of the, I mean, it's it's it is like fickle sometimes in terms of how audiences are with content, right? Oh yes, absolutely. So do you um, think you would go back to pharmaceuticals? Like you'd go back to making drugs for like Breaking Bad and stuff like that? <laughs> Actually, uh, um, funny you mentioned that. I'm actually currently studying to get my realtor's license in wa in Washington. Wow. That's my plan B. <laughs> it's You know, it's funny because I always forget that other people live in Seattle. So, like, when I meet somebody who also lives in Seattle, I'm like, oh, yeah, hey, th it is a pretty big, pretty big place. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I definitely think about, you know, the volatility of streaming a lot. Um, I want to make the best of it, of course. Right. But I also want to be prepared for the worst, obviously. Well, I will tell you, you know as well as I do, houses in Washington are cheap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cheap. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a, uh, we have a couple friends. It's funny because uh, my niece is actually uh, also wants to be real estate and has been studying to do real estate as well. So mm. uh, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a, you know, it's funny because I think that, you know, when I think about it, there's a lot of like the best content streamers would actually be really good real estate agents because it is about the hustle. <laughs> yes, it is. You know is. what I mean? Absolutely. And it's sales and it's and it's talking to people. Yeah. Which we have a tendency to be pretty good at. <laughs> some yeah. of us. And then Dish. <laughs> dish is great at talking to people. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I, I make fun of everybody. Yeah. Dish. No, Dish is awesome. Um, no, so, uh, but what, what was it about real estate? Was it specifically just that about, uh, like, you like the idea of talking to, or, like, what was it about it, uh, that, about real estate that you got kind of drawn into? I see. It's a, for me, it's a, it runs in the family. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, the, your parents are real estate, or? Yeah, my mom's in real estate. Okay. Uh, but then also just, like, uh, I do enjoy the competitive and, like, fast-paced aspect of sales. Um, I also like the concept of, you know, the work you put in, you get rewarded for how much work you put in versus being on like a day-to-day -day salary basis, which is what I would probably be if I stayed in pharmaceutical sciences. I'd probably be working in a lab, which isn't exactly how I guess I prefer things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So did you go to UW? No, I didn't. I went to uh, University of Michigan. Oh, okay. That is not UW. <laughs> no, it's not. And did you st and did you go to U you went to U of uh, you went to U of M which I mean Wolverines right that's the mm -hmm. Wolverines yeah um, did uh, did you go did, were you on on campus or did you do remote or oh I was on campus okay yeah uh, I, I I actually grew up in Ann Arbor 
okay. which is where U of M is. And so it, it was just kind of like homeschool for me. Not, well, not homeschool, but like hometown, hometown school for me. So are you, is that is that where your parents live? They don't live in Washington? Uh, no, they're not in Washington. Oh, so you moved to Seattle on purpose. Yes, I moved to Seattle. <laughs> I was about to say, why? No, it's like, I live there. No, it's it's nice. I just, I thought a lot of people I know who I met there have been there pretty much almost forever. So. Mm, I see. I, I, I realized that whenever I tell people, yeah, I moved to Seattle. I willingly went to Seattle. They're like, Time to go. what is wrong with you? And I'm like, Seattle's great. And they're like, what is wrong with you? Seattle but, is great. Yeah, except Seattle's for great. The, except, so Seattle, for those people who don't know, Seattle has actually five seasons. <laughs> So there's yes. the season that is uh, okay, summer, we're which we're in right now, and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. I actually just was up on Rainier uh, two weeks ago. Oh, but it's so hot right now. And, well, yeah. It's not as hot as it is everywhere else, though. It's like 90, it's low at 91, 90, no, it's like 93 today. Um, and my, my kids are in the pool, and Aww. luckily we have air conditioning, which is great. Um, which is like Seattle royalty when you have air conditioning in your mm -hmm. house. Uh, and then, um, but uh, then there is fall, which is also awesome and beautiful. And then there's winter, which is when it gets gray. Mm -hmm. And then we have spring. And then we have second gray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we get summer. It's, yes. It's pretty much so. It's like, but we all live for all of those things except for the grays. And the grays take a long time to go away. And this year was particularly bad for how long the grays lasted. It was a brutal wet and gray spring, right? Like it took forever. Yeah, so a lot of people will tell me the reason why they don't like Seattle be is because of how short our days are in the winter. Oh, okay. Um, and because like there's, it's always raining, there's not very much sun, it's very gray. They tell me like, oh, being in Seattle makes me like very depressed. But for me, I'm like, I love being in size. You know, <laughs> I like the rain. <laughs> I like it when it's dark. I like avoiding the sun. <laughs> so it's, it's perfect for me. <laughs> it's really funny because like uh, on the summit of Rainier this year, um, like uh, Disappointment Cleaver, which is one of the places like, so that's one of the, it's like the second stop before you summit the mountain. Um, in July, usually there's rock, but it was all snow. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Um, and it, the other thing, too, is like there's a ton of really great outdoor activities, like uh, hiking, stuff like that. All the things you don't like. <laughs> all the things that you want to do. Which is just I do like hiking, but, okay. like, but like, I also prefer it when it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> so have you guys gotten it? Do you guys do a lot? Like, what are some of the other, what are some of the other things you're into? Like, if you're, when you're not gaming... Like, what other things do you guys do? Anything else? Like, mm. uh, like I don't know, movies? Mm, anime? Anime's Foodie, great. Foodies? Like, no? Anime's? You're... Anime's great. I wouldn't say I'm, like, a huge foodie. I like food, but okay. I, like, I'm, like, a more, like, live to eat than eat to live. Well, no, eat, eat, eat to live than live to eat. Yeah, eat okay. to live than live to eat person. So you think if food is fuel and not really more than that, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, I can, I enjoy good food, but, like, I don't, like, feel like I need good food in my life in order to exist, you know? Okay, got it. Unlike Genshin, where you need all the best characters in life to really to <laughs> exist. Yes, just like Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hopefully I can do 412. So, We're what's, the your, so what, what's your go-to eat place in Seattle? Uh, like if you guys were like, okay, we're going to go splurge, night out, oh. go get some good dinner. Where do you go? Because I mean, we're both from the same place. So now I can actually, I can't talk to most people about this. Interesting. So I used to live in Capital. I don't live in Capital anymore, okay. but I used to live in Capital. Uh, and Capital has a ton of amazing restaurants. Okay. Uh, there's this uh, Thai fusion restaurant called De Fiora, I believe. De Fiora. Okay. Um, it's a little expensive, but it's very tasty. I, I, I used to live very close to it, so I, I'd, get, I'd go there a lot. And okay. each time I'd always enjoy it. Um, I also enjoy this uh, Mongolian place. I can't exactly remember the name of it, but it's also in Capital. And it's a Mongolian type restaurant. It's really, really great. It's really delicious. Uh, it's, it's a cuisine that you don't usually see, which is why I'm, I, I, I like recommending it to people. Okay. If they're ever in Capital. capital? I just, I, it sucks that I can't remember the name right now. Got it. <laughs> yeah, Capitol Hill is a, is a, uh, a happening place. We used to live, when I first, when I, before we decided to have a family and stuff like that, I lived in Pioneer Square. So we lived mm. right down on it, which was like, like a nice party zone. And then we used to eat up in Capitol Hill all the time. There is actually really good restaurants there. But uh, yeah, no, I was just curious. Okay, so like uh, those are two very, uh, so Thai fusion. What was the fusion with? Uh, it's like Thai American. Okay. 
But now you guys don't live in capital anymore, huh? Yeah, we don't live in capital anymore. Did you guys, did you make it to the burbs? Are you moving over? Did you move it east side? Uh, uh, yes, I made it over the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It always happens. You can't stay inside the city forever. No, you can't. We, yeah. I mean, my wife really wanted to try, but then she was like, this, we were like, oh this isn't going to work. Oh my goodness, I almost died. Oh, this 412 is so hard. Is it, are you on 412? Yeah, I didn't expect to be, I'm stuck. Ah! I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. No! Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard. Holy crap, I didn't expect <laughs> Portal to be so hard this season. Uh, one second, I might need to switch my team around. I don't think I can use UAMIA for this. <laughs> I need to switch my team around and use all of the characters that I said I was gonna use with you. Because no, 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 I'm still using the, the, the main two. It's just I need to switch my main DPS on that floor. That's funny. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that to be so challenging. All right, we're playing Yanfei. Oh, I don't have enough. I, I just want you to know, I did not mean to make it challenging. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> the challenge is good. <laughs> Although I might make people lose some channel points, so I do apologize. <laughs> I hope I can nine-star this. <laughs> I didn't even know they changed it. I mean, I should have known that, but I haven't really been paying much attention lately. Just because there hasn't been a need to, right? Mm-hmm. My... AKA, she doesn't care about your channel points, <gasps> guys. I didn't say that. <laughs> I like how everybody on my channel is like about to, about to cash out fat. They bet against you. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so mean. You guys need to trust me, but like not right now. <laughs> you should have trusted me, but like not, not at this moment. Kay. I just got the most precise directions in my ear. <laughs> you just, he said, he said, he gave me a precise, like, down to percentage of rotation they wanted out of this. I love it. Okay, let's We love you, Koji. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if I did it the right way, but I'm, I'm assuming I did, because he didn't yell at me afterwards. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little focused right now. That's okay. We're used to it. We've had some very focused individuals on the show before, especially <laughs> when it comes to... Channel points. Now you know that the people are betting against you. I want you to win. Yeah, I want to win now too. I want you to win because I want to see my, my chat go, no! <laughs> 380,000 channel points. Oh, man. Oh, that's funny. Is my writing built? My writing's built right. What, what, so, hey, uh, I'm going to ask Blondie, who's my community manager, Blondie Bagiki. Hey, what, what, is the, what is the ratio of win, like, of of success to fail. What is what is the vote currently? I'm just gonna. I just wanna. I wanna put. A, I wanna lay out some. Uh, I wanna lay out uh, some motivation for Dawn. Try not to enjoy. Teamwork is teamwork. This is order. Boom, boom. Yeah. Wait, a hundred percent? That's not true. Really? Wait, nobody voted. Nobody went against her. Oh, everyone voted for me. They trusted me. Your chat trusts me. Wow, okay, I'll let I you mean, down. that's awesome. Uh, somebody said that your bar, this, this, uh, this GPO I'm installing in your, your build right now would be great for Barbie Horse Adventure, just as an FYI. Don't believe him. She's so focused. <laughs> Sorry, I, I am really focused. <laughs> so, I like it. Oh, this floor is, has so many mobs this time around. I, I like the way they changed floor 12 here to accommodate for the, for the, for I guess, Klee and Kazuha. Uh, that means I didn't bring my Kazuha. Sorry, I'm, I'm babbling right now. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine. I'm you're talking like a streamer. <laughs> you're talking like a streamer. That's okay. You're, you're keeping, you're <gasps> talking people. I just all tapped out of the game. How did I manage that? There's all sorts of things happening today. Oof. You guys are so tanky. We're gonna let her focus, guys. So I'm not gonna talk to her. I'm just gonna build and she's gonna focus. And we're gonna see what happens. Channel points on the line. Order guide you. Solidify. Try not to enjoy this too much. There we go. I mean, have, is this the first wave? I'm gonna, I'm trying to minimal, minimally. Oh yeah, this is this is only the first first uh, floor wave. Okay, now it's on to the other side. I have to do this 
in... I should be able to do this really fast, because this is my stronger side, but I need to do it in a minute and a half, I think? This is it, guys. Big moment. Lots of flash on the screen. No idea what's going on. Oh, yeah, I should be able to clear this really fast. Illusion shatter. <laughs> Everybody's like, distracted, Roby. No. <laughs> We want to see them succeed on the show. What if we need her to come back? They're like, I'm never coming back. You distracted me. Oh, God. He's going to face change. No! Okay, just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. As long as I don't get hit, I'm okay. Okay. You did it. Wow, I cleared that side really fast. On to the next. On to the next. So, so, so wave one done. Your GPU is installed. I'm just All I have left is your PSU, so I'm, I'm being quick here, too. Okay. Oh, geo hypostasis. Okay, this should be fine. Oh my oh my sound is gone. Is that okay? Oh no, it's back. Never mind. Everything's fine. Yes. Oh, geo hypostasis is easy with Yanfei. This is why I brought Yanfei. I like it. I like the way that you, I like how how positive you're talking right now. Hey, you see that? That's damage. <laughs> That's damage. Screw you. Cube. Stupid icy cube. Okay. Here comes the the bolt part. So nine star, you have to finish it all within a certain amount of time, right? Right. I have a time limit to complete it. Oh. Nothing to gather. Oh, screw you. Oh, okay. Wait, did I say geo hypostasis? Oh, cryo hypostasis. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Focused. I'm so focused. Oh, it's a big boy! I did not realize they put that big boy on this floor. I don't know what that means, but go for it. Go Look with how big it. he is! This big mob. It's like a big <laughs> robot man. He's okay. It's, he's he's a uh, he's not that difficult to deal with. It's just really big and surprising. Makes for better entertainment. What's happening right now? Right. God, these are really tanky. Makes it more impressive what you're doing. Oh. Whew, okay, on to the last one. Okay. While you're, while, you're, while, you're, uh, while you're getting ready for the, oh, this is the last one that you're getting ready to fight right now? Yeah. Okay, do you want it, while you're going at it, I, rumor is you're also a big K-pop fan. I love K-pop. Okay, what's, what's the deal there? What's your favorite? Blackpink? No. Okay. I like Blackpink. My favorite group right now is Twice. <laughs> do you know who Twice is? No. Okay, well, now, now you do, and okay. now you're going to go listen to all their music, and you're okay. going to go buy all their albums. That's what happened to me with ZHC, and then I went and launched, then I got a bunch of Blackpink stuff, so. Oh, okay, Blackpink is really great. I like Blackpink, too, but, like, twice, twice is where it's at. Okay, twice, okay. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, have you been into K-pop, like, the whole time? Did somebody introduce you to K-pop, or? I haven't listened to K-pop since I was a kid. Uh, oh, my okay. older sister gave me a CD. In my first ever CD, she put a bunch of random Chinese songs, but then she put on some Korean songs. Uh, the first, the, I remember it was uh, Happy by Super Junior, uh, Happiness by Super Junior, and then since then, I just kept listening to K-pop because my sis I would listen to my sister's music, and she listened to it, and to this day, I still listen to it. <laughs> How old is your is your sister older or younger than She's you? She's older than me. Okay. Okay, here we go. Last it. This is it, huh? Last wave. We're being we're we're just giving her some time to focus, not distracting her, because there's 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 channel points on the line. Time for your 
You guys are pinky. While she's doing that, I'm just putting in the PSU. I've got a couple more cables to plug in, and then we're done here. So we're just finishing that out at the same time. So that is what I am doing. So we've got the GPU in, the PSU in, all the cables are plugged in. We just got to plug all this stuff in. This is like wacky. Get this one in. There we go. Oh my god, this freeze is so annoying. Is it, is it, a, is it a, like a, a terrible combination here? Yeah, so there's a cryo dude and then there's a hydro dude and they keep freezing you. You see this really big tanky lady here? She's gonna be... She's gonna be my nemesis. She's gonna be. She's gonna be a headache to deal with right now. You gotta kill her first. Yeah, I, I just have to try my best to kill her as fast as I can. But she's very tanky. And tanky meaning tons of HP. Okay, there we go. Last screws of your build are done. Oh snap! You now I just gotta hook up all of your last cables and we're finished. This part's actually pretty fast. Oh. I just want to finish around the same time you're done. So we can celebrate our, your victory together. Yes. If I can complete this. She's it's so not tanky. If, it's win. Order guide you. Motion to compel. So is this this is more of a challenge than you expected, you think? Uh I a little bit, yes, I'll be honest, because I didn't expect uh the mobs on this this rotation to be so tanky. I'm I'm guessing it's you know, a little and that's bit of what power makes it hard creep. is just because, you, like you said, because of the power curve, right? They've yeah. Been, they've been upping it. Right. Okay, so what do you, how much time do you have to finish this? I didn't pay attention. I'm just gonna unga bunga and pray. I don't even know what's You're on the floor. You're gonna what? Unga bunga and pray. Oh, okay. it's a serpent. Oh, I should be able to kill a serpent fast. I believe in myself. Unga bunga. <laughs> And this is the last one, right? Right, this is the last one. Oh, I actually have 30 seconds to complete this. I don't think I can complete this in time. Uh-oh. I might have to redo it. Yeah, I might have to replay this floor unless I can burst this in 30 seconds. Gotcha. Come on. Maybe. Pause champ. Pause Going. champ. 30 seconds, Pause right? Pause champ. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out. Get out. No! Don't do this mechanic, please! Oh my god. What is she doing? Yes! Oh, I did it! Yes! She did it! Holy crap, I had... <laughs> She's like yelling, it's so broken! <laughs> what? Oh, my character's so broken! <laughs> <laughs> You did it. Okay, so oh. that so now what do you get for doing that? Okay, so you get some primo gens. So I'll show you. Um, <laughs> you get these primo gens, 150 oh. each, uh, nine star that you do on each floor, and then you get these little gacha boxes for the equipment. So you can open these to get these like. Oh, I didn't know they added vermilion to it. To, to open, so you open these little gacha boxes and this is like the equipment I was wearing earlier. Um, and this is like a way to have a chance of getting more good ones. Okay, mm -hmm. and so did you get, are you gonna, did you get anything good out of it or are you just, you're just gonna hold on to the boxes? I usually just hold on to them. <laughs> because at this point in time, you pretty much don't need any gear. Yeah, oh, Jason, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Bye, Daisy. <laughs> so how many, so how, okay, so now that this has really happened and you've done this, mm -hmm. I need to ask my community manager, how many people, like, what was the ratio now that she succeeded and people were wrong about your, because I don't know, if the, I don't actually think it was 100%. 184,000 payouts. Wow. Some, some big, big, big payouts on channel points. Somebody said my points, GG. So people were definitely voting against you. Wow, some people didn't believe in me. And that is your that is your penance to pay, sir. <laughs> Should have believed. Honestly, it was a really close one. I uh, got a little sweaty at the last boss because I realized I only had 30 seconds to kill it and it had over half its HP. But uh, my my very expensive characters pulled through. <laughs> okay, so that was on on my side. Literally everybody did say yes. Oh, interesting. My so, side, more people had doubters. <laughs> Shake my head. Shaking her finger at you. Okay, so I've got one more, two more cables to plug in, and then we're, your build's done. 
Ooh. So I didn't quite get done at the same time as you, but pretty dang close. Okay. So we, you can actually, if you want to, you can actually uh, start transitioning over here and then we'll oh, get sure. your PC turned on. Uh, but one thing that we did want to talk about, which I thought was pretty cool, is that apparently you have a ton of artists in your community. Yeah. And they share a bunch of art. And so we have some of that that we can show off. Oh, you so can there's show off the one, fan art? Yeah, I think I saw this one. Yeah, but here's some of the stuff that people did. That's a great shirt. <laughs> That's my constipated shirt. <laughs> Some people did some some art, some uh, char those are character artists of you. Aww. So yeah, so just sharing some of that stuff. You have a very talented community. Uh, my community uh, just makes fun of me, so it's fine. <laughs> That's actually not true. They're they're amazing, and so I appreciate. Whoa. It. What? That's not how I remember we left it. Oh no no it's yeah we have one more cable. I'm literally zip tying the last one and then we're done. It looks good. You surprised me. I was not ready for you to be over oh, here so sorry, quick. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. You can be there. That's, that's uh, totally okay. We're going to have you put your case back together, and then we'll uh, basically turn it on, So, okay. which is great. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, so how you feel after you're, uh, you're uh, pulling it off? That was like an actual challenge, right? Yeah, it felt good. It, 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 it was kind of hype. <laughs> okay, let's get this fixed so we can get your cables to look good, and then... <sighs> we'll get this started. And it's the last. Ooh, dang, that's that looks good. My computer definitely doesn't look like that. Well, that's the hope, right? Like, <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna have me build something, it's gotta it's gotta look it's gotta look good too, right? <gasps> Understandable. It's good. You can't can't just look can't just look all slapdash. Uh, but it does take a little bit of time, and so sometimes this one these two cables right here will fight me on the rotation. But we're almost we almost got it solved here. Is this like an art form for you, building computers? Oh, yes. I mean, mm -hmm. like every one of them is like, I mean, it's like kind of like your kid, right? Like you want them. And then the other two is these are going to, these are in a lot of ways are going to represent you guys. So you're going to, this is a toy, that, a tool, sorry, not a toy. It is a toy too, but a tool that you're going to use to do all sorts of crazy things. So you want it to represent in a lot of ways. And so, you know, like the red was a choice for the character that you cosplayed earlier. Mm -hmm. and Yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. There it is. And then the back actually looks really clean too, which is always the important part. Wow. Oh, except for it's being, I'm gonna change, fix one thing and then we'll be good. You grab, there's a little trick you can do when the cable's being funky and that's what I'm gonna do here, just to make sure this stays. Um, so you have, with um, the new with the new content coming out, and with people, if they wanted to watch you play and get to see you and your community and stuff like that, and they're watching you here and they're like, "Wow, I'd really like to see her some more." How do they like? Where? What times do you stream? Like, what is? Oh. Ah, yes. Oh. So I stream every day, but Wednesdays and Sundays. Okay. And, and I stream around. I stream Pacific time. I stream okay. a little bit after lunch, maybe around like one p.m. And I go to a little bit before dinner. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and it's ev and it's pretty much every day, but Sunday and Wednesday. Yeah. And then is every day Genshin Impact? Like, do you have a rotation in terms of the content that you? Have a tendency to sh to stream or I think like so the way I usually play my streams is I start in Gen I start in Genshin I play Genshin do my Genshin dailies do whatever bit of content that we have um, and then maybe I'll transition to like a variety game so maybe I'll play some Honkai maybe uh, I actually recently played Amori on stream I was um, that was a really really good experience um, what's any, that game about Amori yeah oh you've never heard of Amori no <gasps> I've heard of the song that's Amori that's oh. Amori. <laughs> I see. All the Olive Garden people were like, yes! <laughs> so Amari is a single-player, pixel, story-based game that explores a lot of mental health topics. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a very dark game, uh, but it's... it's deceiving because the graphics and animation is very, very cute. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's a game that, after playing, I felt, like, very moved. Wow! So I definitely recommend everyone to try it on Mori. There's, a, I, I, you know, there's a lot of things where, um, uh, the, what's like, what, there was the Edith Fitch game. Mm -hmm. There's been a bunch of ones that have tackled mental health, yeah. and actually done a really good job. Actually, there's a game, um, Hellblade, Setsuna's Hellblade, which is about 
um, split personality disorder. Oh, interesting. Um, but this, you would never, unless you knew that, um, but uh, incredible, incredible game. Actually, uh, they're doing the second one's actually coming out, supposed to be this year or next year. Um, so there's been some really, really cool ways that they've used the median of, of video games to help tell um, and bring to light like important social issues, which is actually pretty cool. And I know a lot of games have also done that for you know different communities. There's games that have done stuff for like uh, teaching about uh, Native American heritage, Aww. all sorts of stuff like That's that, which sweet. is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, if you want to grab your, where do we put your little your filter that you opened that you took off the top? Do you remember? Is this it? Yes. Do you want to pop that back on? Yes, I can do that. I do want to pop it back on. This is the end. It's almost done. It's almost done. My new child. Might have to turn it around, yeah. It only it keys one way, which is nice. So it makes it easy to put it in right. Do you think you'll name it? Some people name their PCs. Should I name it? Yeah. What do you think? Some Sorry. people have their community name it. We've actually had people actually make, now have PC cams. You know, it's funny, if I let my chat decide what to name this PC, they'd probably name it Tartaglia or Tartalia. Oh, really? So there's this character in Genshin Impact that I don't like. <laughs> I, and the, so I they despise do... this character. <laughs> and, and he's called Tartalia. So you think they do it just to spite you? Okay, oh, absolutely. They sure. always want me to play him. They always try to make me play him. And you're like, no. Yeah, no. Stop that. <laughs> okay, front. Okay. Ooh. Should just go on, yeah. Should just pop on. And there we go. PC is done. <gasps> if you want to grab the power cable right there, it's right on the floor right there. Yep, there you go. <laughs> pop it in right here. You know the drill. And just hit the, push it down to one. There you go. And then hit the power button. <gasps> ready, ready, ready. Yeah, here we go. There it is. <gasps> it's RGB. Oh, yes. We got RGB on there. Wow. There it is. It is up and it is going. There's a lot of RGB. You want to look for the front and then we'll put the glass on so you guys can actually see it from the other side. It looks clean. There is the PC all done and ready to go. Let's grab. Okay, so now for the big moment. Yes. The peel. This is what everybody looks forward to. The big peel. I'm going to take oh. the back one off so when we're done you can actually see the whole thing okay oh I'm gonna pop this on ooh, ooh. okay and then if you want to start from right there and start peeling in that direction this is it and you want to take it slow it's a big moment such an unattractive sound. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that's not me. <laughs> I don't think anybody thought it was. This one, whoa! I suddenly see HD vision. It's like it's, putting on glasses for the first time. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden when it comes out and it's all clear, right? Whoa! <clears throat> there you go. And there is the build. Okay, guys, so again, Core i9, 12900K. We've got an RTX 3080, uh, sorry, RTX 3070. Uh, we've got an MSI MAG Z690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi, one terabyte NVMe Intel SSD 660p, 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz, uh, G-Skill Triton Z RGB. We've got an NZXT H7 Flow, MSI MAG Core Liquid C360. We got Lee and Lee Uni AL120 RGB fans, and then finally the MSI MAG A1000 GPSU. So there it is. That's the build that she will be playing Genshin Impact on. Yeah. And all of the Genshin other Impact. games. Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. At a bajillion <laughs> frames per second, because that thing runs on a potato. But it's more than that, because content creation, there's a ton of different streaming, things that you're streaming, all sorts of things. Video, so it's actually, editing. There is a bunch that these, this PC will do. And again, uh, is you know, a big thank you, obviously, from Intel and MSI thank to you, you Intel. for being on the show. And thank you. Where, where are the cosplay? You know, I know that that's, <sighs> like, that's not something that takes you. At first, I was like, 
I did. I was going to ask you, but then you were, you said you're going to change. I was like, are you going to fly home in that? Because I'd be like, that, I like, what's that like? You know, that would have been kind of embarrassing. Uh, you know, like Asuka on the plane, just sitting there, like. That could have hey. been that could have been like a pretty funny like video thing of like you're just like meme material yeah, yeah. cosplaying in public <laughs> and it's just me being a public embarrassment. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, you guys uh, tune in for sure. Check out Dawn uh, any day but Wednesday and Sunday around starting around after lunch and then going till about right before dinner time. Uh, where do they find you on Twitter, Twitch? What's what? Is, what how do they find you though? Mm. Like we know when, but if they want to find you, what do find they type in? Psycho! There it is right there. Psycho right there at Psycho, and it's pretty much everywhere? Yeah, pretty much everywhere. Okay, everybody. pretty much everywhere. Uh, but not on Tinder, because she's, she's engaged. So there you go. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> we always joke about that stuff. Anyway, guys, uh, super appreciate you guys. Uh, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next week, another episode. I've been here tracked literally for weeks, guys. Send help, <laughs> please. You're locked I just, in I, the I, I just want to go home. Uh, but anyway, uh, we will see you guys, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next episode.